Welcome everyone to Keeping Candles Mysterious. We are Lawful Stupid RPG and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play some of the Candlekeep Mysteries module with a few additions sprinkled in. My name is Buddy and I'll be helming this adventure while our normal Saturday night game Cold Hard Witch is on hiatus. If you've joined us for our other ventures into Candlekeep, you might notice some new and old faces here. Let's see who we have tonight. We have Lee playing Carolus, the Yuan Ti pureblood warlock of the genie. We have Rodney playing Cesar, the human tempest cleric. Nathan playing Bertram, the half orc paladin monk. Mama Distracted playing Key to Ridenai, the centaur star druid. And Evadaris, who is playing Alexander, the half elf spirit bard. How is everyone tonight? Wonderful. Last week. Our band of adventurers added one to their ranks as Alexander the Bard gave a mysterious but pretty spot on tarot reading. Mickey returned Bertram's cup after giving it an upgrade and the group learned a little about who the strange woman was that approached them. They ventured further into Waterdeep and found the former Yellowcrest Manor now owned by someone else. They found Sarah's former love interest, Sir Vecan, and for some reason forced him to look at her ghost. They discovered that Lord Yellowcrest still owned some businesses in Waterdeep and found a very friendly shopkeep who attended to their leather needs. Uh, the party has plans for a morning ambush uh, for the overseer who collects the money from these businesses. We join them now at the Waterdeep's Best Inn. Uh, you have all had a long rest and the night has passed uneventfully. What would you like to do? Kill him. N now? No. We're staking him out, aren't we? So. Yeah, we're looking for someone with a big red hat. First thing we should do, um, as far as steak out is concerned, is to get breakfast. I like steak for breakfast? breakfast. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah, we'll go for some breakfast. Oh, they said uh, late morning anyway, uh. didn't they? Yes. Yeah. Late morning. Yeah, late Almost noon. So, brunch, steak out Bloody Marys and mimosas? <laughs> Sounds good. Mm. I'm always Jinkies. down for that. Jinkies. <laughs> and take your inspiration. Uh, all right. So, yeah, so you, uh, you can go. Uh, you got a, a ground floor room uh, since... One of your party does not care for stairs, uh, so you you can head out and 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 head just into the the forward area there where there's some dining. Uh, it's a, a little bit busy, but but not too bad. You can find a table off to your uh, off to the corner uh, to yourselves if you'd like. Yeah, and I'll try and flag down somebody. Uh, you do, and they, uh, they, they point to what looks like a buffet service, uh, and they bring a, a pitcher of, uh, mimosas to your table. This is the best way to start a day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then I'm gonna get up and go over to that buffet thing, grab me a couple plates and get this thing going. Yeah, do it up. Yeah, I will too. <laughs> can, can I just get a cup of tea? Uh, she looks at you as like you maybe have lobsters growing out of your ears, but uh, she she says yes and and saunters off back to the bar to uh, to get you tea. Much appreciated. It's gonna be a long island, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't, but it could be. Yeah. Hey, we, I fixed your mug. I know. Uh, that Long Island's going straight in that mug. <laughs> uh, she comes back with, uh, with, with hot tea. Uh, it is not alcoholic. Uh, she's still. I'm gonna put it in the mug little... anyway, <laughs> just <All right. laughs> to be sure. <laughs> she, uh, she definitely looks at you like, uh, like you're and... strange. Yep, and just hand the teacup right back. Thank you very much. Uh, yep, she takes it. Uh, 
Uh, while we're all getting our food and our drinks, I'm just going to kind of shuffle up tarot for a little mm -hmm. bit. And I'll use my Tales from Beyond and use one of my Bardic Inspiration die. So that way I can have a tail ready for later in the day. Okay. So we're going to roll a D12. Wow, that's, we... that's a lot going on there. And I got a one. So it will be the tale of the clever animal that I will have prepared for the day that I can use later on for things. Uh, does it just use it once or does it for the whole day? Uh, I have it with me until I bestow the effects or until a short or long rest, basically. Okay. So if we take a uh, rest, I got to, it's gone. Okay, got to do it again. Uh, all right, no problem. Make sure you write that down and remind me because there's absolutely no way I'll remember that. Oh yeah, I've already, already got the pin. So uh, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna have an ambush with no real plan. This yeah, is gonna be the so, best I'm ambush ever. <laughs> He usually shows up, he said, late morning, early afternoon. So. So we're, we're, so we're have, gonna. <laughs> my plan is to be there while he creates a new belt and carrying bags for me. Yes. Are the rest of us going to be watching from somewhere? Well. Um, we were super down for the idea of turning a mouse into something, weren't we? Or was, were we just blowing smoke for ourselves? Because that gonna... sounds like a great idea. Mouse Rex is plan B. Plan B. Um, yeah. So, um, are we are, I think like the question now, are we doing a smash and grab or are we going to do a follow? On I this think we're guy? just, I think, I think it'd be best just to follow. I thought it was guy. a follow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, hmm. not smash Beatles? anybody quite yet. I mean, the day's still young. <laughs> the day is young. Uh, that's not Caesar's listen. voice. <laughs> and and you you have been referring to it as an ambush, not a politely follow. But we'll I would we'll say how the day. I, I was saying stakeout because I was. That's I true. Thought we're just. That's true. I we're just watching this guy. I we want to see where we, he's going. If we queue it up from last week, I think it was an ambush last week. Uh, but I'm, hey man, I'm happy to do whatever. I'll just throw that whole encounter right out the, right out the window. I don't believe that for a second. Yes, you shouldn't. <laughs> you absolutely shouldn't. Uh, what's Carolus doing? Typing. <laughs> nah, he's just looking at picture books, eating brunch. I'll just catch up. Sorry, I've just been catching up on messages. Many people just hit me up at once. So can I carry on? Uh, yeah. All right. So you guys, uh, you guys plan to to stake out. Key is going to go to the store. And the rest of you are going to stay out on the street. If if just... there was a place to loiter nonchalantly without it being super obvious that we are loitering nonchalantly. Okay. Well. His, his place any... was kind of like down an alleyway on its own, so we can kind of chill in the main streets. While well, he there, goes there were yonder, there were right? lots of there were lots of other stores on that on that street. Um, Are there any street vendors? Uh, you, well, you know that like on the way to his place, there was one that uh, that did have like some pastries. So okay. he's probably set back up uh, doing pastries again. All right. I would I would like to propose that we're doing either some hanging out with the pastry guys or just walk in the alley doing quote unquote window shopping until we see uh red hat come by. Here I'll put you guys back on the I could polymorph into Oh I think a Tyrannosaurus Rex would be a bit too much, but I, I something can. else. Plan B. Plan B T Rex. Uh, I could, so I could. how about if he comes in while I'm still inside the shop, 
the leather worker's shop. I hand him a flower. Yeah. A bright yellow one. And uh maybe maybe tuck it into his hat for you guys to know that's him. Yeah. Do we have a way to to track that specific flower by any magical means or are we just relying solely on keeping eyes on? She can make it smell really bad so when she makes herself look like a dog again, she can smell it all the way downtown. Good idea? Bad idea. Or you know, I can make the flower a flower, and if you guys are in the alleyway, when he leaves, you can see the flower and know his face. Or her face. I don't know if it's an actual male or female or yeah. something. But he's got a big red hat. Yeah. If for some reason he's not wearing his hat, it's a good backup. Okay. I'm in ingredients. All right. Yeah, no, this is just, a good semblance we're just of a plan. Try to tail this guy all the way down to uh, Greenfast, right? And then kill him. Are we? Are we destroyed that yet? We we can ambush him when the time is right. I think we should try to. Oh, we need just to find double confirm right where where he's going before before we do any kind of physical ambush. Oh, I wasn't gonna be This is that. the kinder, gentler Candlekeep gang. I'm liking this. I'm liking this change. Alright, well um I should probably start heading over there. And, and uh, right. we'll wait, wait a good breath of time before we follow out. I'm going to put my coin bag into my bust so that uh, I can go without a belt or anything of that nature. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, The rest of you are going to uh, wait a few minutes and then follow Keed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to give her Mm -hmm. 10, 15 minutes and then head out. Uh, All right. So you should have that map uh, pulled up. I'm going to yeah. refresh your memory here. We're kind of at the corner of uh, Quill Alley and Spoils Alley. We've got a ping running. And I'll do a... Uh, actually put a circle. Oops. Circle. Of where his shop is. This is the, uh, the Rose and Buckle. And so it would take you... You know, five minutes maybe to, to nonchalantly walk there. Uh, you see, uh, again, right at the corner of the wide way in Quill Alley, you do see uh, a street cart with someone uh, selling you know, fresh breads, uh, things of that nature, uh, some some sh- less sugary pasties, uh, pastries. Um, but there are a number of people out. Um, Bertram's idea to, to hang out nonchalantly and not look like you're loitering should be easily covered by everyone uh but you make your way uh straight straight way to the rose and a buckle and it is open for business uh the the door has an open sign on it i will uh is the door open or it just has in the window open for business uh, it, it just has an open sign it, it is not open i will knock on the door first and then uh open the door to enter sure yeah the uh you, you knock and you hear someone inside say come in and uh you open the door and back kind of in the back of the shop you see uh, Raphael Christophus and he is talking to an orc and a dwarf and uh it seems as though he's packaging up some leather maybe that he has has prepared for them I will wait until he's done speaking with them. I'll come in kind of out of the way. Not to, you know, put my big horsey butt blocking any path out. 
Uh, okay, yeah, they um, they they chat for a little bit, and it, it seems like they're 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 old friends. Uh, and then uh, Raphael notices you and seems to say goodbye to them, and and comes straight over to you. <laughs> Why, hello. What may we do for you today at the Rose and Buckle? I um, need some supplies, one of which is a belt and um, bags that will fit. And she will gesture at her waist, kind of at the conjunction of where the human portion of her body and the horse portion of her body meet. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. That, uh, that's a horse of a different story from what we normally sell. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rodney. Yeah, I'm, already. So, I'm sorry, Rodney. I have to do it. <laughs> it's. I know what it. I know what this is. It's fine. Uh. Well, yeah. Uh, so are, are, you, are, you, are you thinking the best uh -huh. in the area? So um, I oh, gotta sure. come by. Well, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, I uh, yeah, absolutely. And then he takes you on just kind of a mini grand tour, and he's asking you about. What what type of leather? What what if you, any coloring or any any like stamping or barding or or um, other kind of accoutrements? And uh, this goes on for quite some time. And we will, as he is giving you all of your options, we'll switch to the rest of the party. What my party are you all doing? Carlos okay. is probably getting a bit bored by now. I think I'm munching on a, a nice loaf or baguette or something from that bread cart and just trying to meander down this alley. It's, it's good. It is still, I mean, even though he's on a food cart, it is actually still a little bit warm from uh, nice. coming out of the of the oven this morning. Oh, now we are looking for an elf, right? This this gentleman, Pharaoh. Yes, yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure my memory was where I thought it was. Elf with a enough with a big ass red hat to see him. Yes. And he was blue, right? I was he blue? I don't remember him being blue. I know the I hat were... red. That's all I know. Yep, big ass red hat. Let's just look for a big ass red hat. Does Keed have a way to signal us if? someone walks in without a big red hat that turns out to be who we're looking for uh, other than the flower if no. we see someone without a without go in without a hat come out with a flower that's i think that's the best we got now unless someone I mean, it's not bad here message something oh. oh i could i could do that but no I you don't nothing. want to mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm just I'm just checking the spell to see if I've actually got to see them. I can do it if you can't. So it's okay. Well, I'll use the spirits and I'll shuffle Tara up a little bit to to let her know. Or at least hopefully let her know. Oh, you can do it. They've been a, uh, they've been a little finicky. Is she, is she uh, 120 well, on, feet? Well, it depends on where you position yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to a, a zoomed in version of the map that we are currently on. There we go. And so Ooh. you may drag your um, drag your characters on. Uh, the yellow circle is where the Rosen Buckle is. And so that is where you assume uh, Keed is inside. Tiny. Yeah, this was pulled from that other map. I could not find a high, a higher pixel count uh, of this this part of the city. So it was uh, unfortunately very pixelated. Where are y'all going? I was going up and down Quill Alley. Oh, I thought we could just be like in eyesight of the of the place. Where, uh, which? I mean, where's the Quill Alley or Spoils Alley? Whichever one the front door of this shop is on. His, the front door to his shop is on Spoils. Okay. Well, then, yeah, we'll be up and down Spoils. Yeah. Within 120 meters. 120 feet. feet. Doesn't Spoils Alley end in a, a 
comedy sack. It looks like it ends in a cul-de-sac type situation. Yeah, yeah like, a cul- a like a cul-de-sac of stores kind of thing. Yeah. All right. Then, yeah, just kind of window shopping, but uh, always keeping one eye on the, the door to the leather shop. Uh, yeah, there there are a number of folks that are uh, that are also doing the same window shopping. Uh, some of them are actually just like standing around and you know having a a little a little, a little smoke on their pipe and just talking. So it's it's really relaxed here. Uh, you don't look out of place at all, other than the fact that maybe you're all brandished out with weapons. But we won't. We'll just overlook that. Um, like the look of I've got a uh, stick. Bard I'm fine. Him. He's going to do something for the towels from beyond. Oh, no, it's just kind of chilling right now. My tails are just chilling, waiting for me to tell a story later on in the day. Oh, mm. What do you want me to say to her? She doesn't like me very much. She'd probably stop bringing up the fact that she's part horse. <laughs> she is part horse. I, I know, but you you have a, a a way of doing it that uh, that rides the nerves. <laughs> In what I don't understand. But what would you like me to say to her? Don't say you want to mount her and ride her like a horse into battle. I have never once said that. Really? Because right. I can, I can believe you have. <laughs> just from within the day that I have known you all, I can totally believe this. I would never ride a horse. Oh, well, would. she's only part horse, so... D- don't don't ask her to pull the car. If we got the car, don't ask her to pull the car. Like, she's a beast of burden. She's a person. But she could... You asked her to pull a cart? But she could pull a cart. Why would we not I, use her? I, it's not, that's not for us to ask. It's, it's, if, if it's her prerogative to do so, she do it. It's like if we see someone that can banish someone, you ask them to banish someone. No, we don't do that either. <laughs> this is strange. It did. Okay, well, I'll message her. What Hello. You message her? <laughs> uh, Hello, Keith. Hopefully something not offensive. Are you there? You can so read this message. <laughs> Keen, uh, uh Raphael is, is showing you just all the finest little bits and bobs and doodads that he could add to the leather and they have long before now run into all looking exactly the same to you um, and you get a just a message in your head from Carolus uh, I will mental- I, I can mentally reply to the message correct Correct. Yeah, I'm here, and I will um, continue looking at what he's what is for offer on all of these things. Um, I am still wearing my armor, though, uh, so I'm going to tell him that I would like it to uh, sort of match the armor I am wearing. Uh, oh, oh, right, right, yeah, of course, I should. Should have known. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, let 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 me let me get something to, to match that. And then he he actually totters off into the back room, and you can hear him kind of sorting through some uh, some different uh, boxes or, or or crates or something. Um, the switching back to outside. Um. The four of you that are outside, please roll me a perception. All right, we've got a 13, we got a 20, we got a 16. Ooh, that's good. Mine's a 16 as well. A uh, 19. Uh, isn't Careless's a 20? No, my, I roll persuasion by accident. Ah, gotcha. So mine's a 16. Uh, so Bertram got a 20. 19. Mm, I got 19, a 19. 19. 19. Yeah. Um, you notice off to the uh, the west just a little bit coming out of 
restore a um, a light skinned blue light blue skinned uh, wood elf who is wearing a giant red velvet hat who looks maybe like the most pompous thing that you have seen in quite some time and you run circles with Carolus. Oh, did that not pop for everyone? How do I... Is it shift Z? Why is he blue? No. If I do Fabulous! Also. You can't disguise white people are blue! <laughs> but you are right, Alexander. It does, does appear he is bluish. Woo! Ah, balls. Sorry, I, I was trying to pop for everyone the image, and I moved them back onto the GM layer. It's roll 20, everyone. I love roll 20. It works perfectly every time. But it works perfectly if only we 80% had of the time. If we cast, like, uh, view undead or something, see if he's undead. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I could try to to feel him out, see if he's undead. That's a, well, no. and you say I'm offensive, isn't that a bit personal? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't actually touch him. I mean, it's really hard to describe as someone. You can like, you can smell it almost. I don't know. Of course but you like, can smell undead. Well, yeah, they smell like shit. I would have assumed you've smelt something dead before. No, but like an undead. Man, how do I say it? it's like. It's like way if you could like smell it with your mouth and you just get like that that taste in your mouth, but it's not a taste. It's, Do you know what I mean? Have you been smoking again? No, I'm <laughs> just trying to. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I think he's been on his pipe. Does he have a pipe? Oh, I'm wondering <laughs> if his cup's actually broken and he's drunk too. <laughs> Mm. It's possible. <laughs> I wouldn't put it oh. past Mickey to like fully break my stuff. But he has agree agreeing to us. So. Are you uh, are you all having this conversation about the 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 blue elf out loud? Well, no, well are see. there any I'm other blue F. people around us? No, chance? we're and there are no other whispers. for sure we're no other blue people. Um, Hushed tones. Yeah, okay. it would be like. A huddled thing. Oh, oh, Bertram, why don't you go and sniff him out then? Uh, I mean, I could probably smell him from here, honestly. Yeah. Let me. I, you, I, well, we should all be able to smell him from here. I mean, we say so we can probably wait until until Kid yeah. gets gets in the same room with him and tell us. I'm gonna go ahead and use a divine sense and just see if there's any celestial fiend or undead within six, sixty feet. Okay. Uh, and that's automatic, correct? Yeah. Uh, as long as it's not behind total cover. But since he's in the middle of the street. So I think I'm good on that feet. one. Yeah. Mm. So within 60 feet, you do not sense any celestials, fiends, or undead. Okay. So I'll just... And like do that little thing that like wine tasters do that no i uh i don't think he's undead guys i wish he didn't do that so close to my ear D <laughs> 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 and &D asmr uh let me have my four outside roll perception one more time It's oh no, it's kind of three. Here we go. So a 19, a 20, a 23, and a three. It was balanced between a one and a 19, and it fell on the one. Oh no, and, I know. Uh, I'm real sad about it. Heed. 
so uh, Raphael brings out some leather that uh, it, it almost exactly matches uh, the the armor that you're wearing. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it does look like a like like a very fine choice, and um, and ask you again exactly what what you're looking for. I am looking for a belt. Um, a one, two, three, four. Three belts, three belts, four belts. No, no, no. One belt, uh, a uh -huh. good size mm -hmm. belt, with four uh, bags to hang on it, and uh, one. Uh, and how how big are the bags? And she's gonna hold up mm, about this big on each he's side. Gonna, uh, he's gonna take a piece of paper, a piece of parchment, and hold up to your hands and like. Like make a size tracing of it. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And then I need to have um, a loop or two added to, and she's going to gesture to slightly behind where she wants the um, her staff to go. Mm -hmm. uh, right here for um, a staff. So it need to be able to hold it in place in case I have to charge or run really quick. Oh, right, right. Okay, yeah, sure. And he immediately goes to sketching on the parchment. Uh, he's drawing kind of the look of the belt and the bags and, and the loops and stuff. Uh, he's, he's he's sketching that out to, to make sure that it's it's what you want. Um, Carolus, you notice that um, while you've all been kind of chatting and Bertram has been doing the uh the the smell with your mouth thing um that right next to you that guy has been paying you guys an awful lot of attention um Cesar you don't quite pick him up but you do notice that across the street from you there's a guy there who is uh decidedly paying the the guy with the red hat a lot of attention i'm gonna nudge bertram with a three he's still like no i i can't get that smell out of my nose i'm like <laughs> i'm gonna nudge alexander <laughs> what <laughs> We got the guy across. The you know, honestly, with 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 a, with a nineteen, you'll if he nudges you, you'll he can like pull your eye over to it pretty quick, and you can see the guy across the street. With I, I forgot you had a nineteen, um, so just with a little bit of a tap, he can clue you into it. So there's a guy, that guy next to me, yeah. Uh, well, they're looking at this guy up here. They haven't specifically noticed the one next to you that is paying attention to you guys. They are all looking at this guy. But this one's paying more attention to us, yeah? Uh, the guy next to you is paying attention to you guys. The guy across the street is paying attention to the elf with the hat. What are you looking at? There's a guy over there who's got eyes on our guy. I'm talking to this guy here. He's just staring at us. What do you want? And he's just, he just, he says nothing, but continues to kind of lick each of you up and down in turn. He's looking you up and he's, he's looking me up and down now. <laughs> yeah, all, all, all four of you in turn. Uh, I, I would like to tap my ambulance that's on my chest real fast and use one charge of my medallion of thoughts to detect thoughts around us and kind of get just surface thoughts of this guy right in front of us. Did you Who's... say you were going to touch your ambulance? <laughs> I'm so glad you said that because I was about to wade in on it, but... My amulet? My amulet? Am my I, heard, I heard ambulance. Got it. <laughs> you touch the ambulance and it goes... Wee, wee, wee. It's, yeah. it's in the shape of a little white truck. Tiny, <laughs> tiny little car. <laughs> Um, all right, so, you, so you're going to get surface thoughts of the guy next to Carolus. Yeah. All right. Um, 
surface thoughts are probably uh easy easy relatively easy hmm difficult and that's that's with knowing that he is like looking all of you up he seems to be sizing the four of you up can I tell which one he thought difficult on when he was looking at us by chance? <laughs> I wanted to know. <laughs> uh, please roll me an insight. Clearly All counts. right. Insight. Twenty-eight. Twenty. It was Jesus a twenty-eight. It, it almost certainly was Bertram. Fair enough. It's the tusks. <laughs> I mean, he he is a, a half orc, so. What do you want? Hmm. Oh, my my mistake. I I thought I recognized you. You might do. I'm quite famous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I once turned a rat into. Oh, I've, I'll leave that story for later. I suggest you tell me what you want with us, and I cast. Suggestion. How long? How long does your detect thoughts? I cast surface suggestion. thoughts. Well, uh, before you do that, how long does your detect thoughts run? Is it just one round use? One of minute. It? Up to one, one minute. minute. Yeah. So, just prior to Carolus casting suggestion, his tone changes to. Oh yeah, this guy's a fucking pushover. Uh, and now, Careless, you would like to cast Suggestion? Yes. All right, DC what is my... 17 Wisdom save. Um, let's see. DC 17 Wisdom save. Uh, oh, this is not going to be good, guys. What would you like to suggest to him? Tell us, I want to know why you're looking us up and down. What do you want with us? And he has to answer truthfully? Oh, I assume so. Suggestion. Display of ETT. Magically influence a creature you can see within range. To understand you. Uh -uh. Used to sound reasonable. So the course of action is you just want some information. Yeah, it pursues the course of action you describe to the best of its ability. Yeah. Um, so, and when the activity completes, yeah, I just the want spell to tell ends. Him what he wants with us. Why is he okay. slicing us up? Uh, I just, I got to make sure that, that Feral is, uh, is, is protected as uh, you, you guys look like the toughest ones out here is, you know, just gotta gotta make sure he's okay. Really, we look tough. See, that wasn't that hard. Who's feral? And I, I, look, I basically, obviously, we know who he is. Um, who's feral? I feel like my condition was met, though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I mean. So that, that he would come out of it now. He'd realised. He gotcha, gotcha. Be, that's what I mean. Uh, That's what I said. He would realize. I see. Then. I see. I see. I mean, I see. see. That weren't that hard. Who's Feral anyway? Why would we care about him? Uh, uh, mm, who? Well, you said Feral. He, he... No, you said Feral. Yeah, you, you said. You said it. Feral. He knows exactly well, what you just said to me. You, you don't. You don't need to worry about him. He's. Uh, do you own these businesses? Do you own this business? Maybe. Well, then you ought to know who he is, then. Oh, if he's... you mentioned Feral. I don't care who Feral is. Well, then why the fuck did you ask me? Because you oh. said we look like the baddest motherfuckers around. Why do we look like that? Aren't we just chilling? <laughs> Bert, just chilling. You, what is that you, loaf you, of bread you were eating? He's eating a you, loaf of you, bread. You, I'm still you, munching, you like, half a baguette over here. I'm looking who you to are, banish. But remember, all of you are... Uh... All of you are strapped out, and like everybody else is just going about their day job. I mean, Karen has are... a dagger. 
I've got um, buffet scraps just... and putting it to bread and making like small sandwiches. And he's holding a cup. <laughs> um. Again, you you guys definitely look like you would win in a fight amongst most of the other people standing around out here. Oh. Oh, it's nice of you to say. Keyed. The drawing that Raphael has made for you, uh, it, 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 it really hits like all of the, the points that you asked for. It, it actually looks, it looks stunning. Uh, before you go into making it, I do need to know how much this might cost. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, and, uh, this is, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this, this is going to run. Uh, it's, uh, it's about 15 gold. All right. Um, what sort of embellishments can you do? Like, I don't want anything super flashy, but like how, and she's gesturing to her armor um, on her chest, and she's going to point out the that the leather has um, designs uh, pressed into it. How, what kind of designs, like, can you do for it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Look at this. And he will go like he'll get his like his, his stamps and, and his his like leather carving stuff out. And he can on some scraps, he can show you some types of things that, that, that he can do that would be very similar to the look of that. Um, now, it doesn't have to the, the pattern that you put into the leather doesn't have to match this. No, oh, no, no, um, right, right, no, no. I just so, it's see, it's it's the it's the it's the whole it's the whole kind of kind of it, idea. And he he goes into showing you how it's something that kind of coordinates with, but isn't exactly the same. All uh, right. Now back to my confrontation, boys. Yeah. What do you want? Come on in. You want to you want to start a fight? <laughs> so that was out of character. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just s stand aside and let and let let. No, you stand aside. Let I'm the over, let, the over let the overseer careless. do his work. Be careless. We're, let the gentleman go about his business. Oh, we were just standing here doing nothing. We're already off to the side, aren't we, guys? Yeah, exactly. We, we were, were window shopping, here, sniffing undead and stuff. I wasn't. He was sniffing for undead. The feral seems to be, or the blue elf with the red hat, seems to be waiting somewhat impatiently at a door and has not paid you any notice. But the two that are with him are now a little bit kind of looking over at what seems to be uh, somewhat of a, a of a tussle or a, a verbal tussle in progress. Carry on. Well, thank you. For your permission. Oh, you're welcome. And he's still gonna like keep looking at you guys, but he 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 is no longer taunting or chiding you. That's because he knows it gets his ass kicked. I'm just mad. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my back around so that way he can't see me. Um, I'm gonna message Ked and be like, "Agua Redbird inbound. Agua Redbird inbound." I love that so much. When she gets um, back, I'm sure she'll hear it. <laughs> when you, Alexander, when you turn around uh, as, and as you're messaging, roll me your perception. Seventeen. Okay. Um, it, it does not prohibit you from doing what you're doing, but there definitely is a guy here who is fully trained on what's going on with the four of you and your new friend. Uh, and uh, Keed, uh, Alexander has sent you a message. I'm not sure if you, if you heard that or not. It was, it was quite cryptic. I did not. I apologize. What was it? Uh, so I turned around and went, Aqua Redbird inbound. Aqua Redbird inbound. Um, I don't respond, but I under I get the message and I 
think I understand what it is. <laughs> um, and Raphael is uh, the 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 carvings that he've done. They, they look they look really pretty great. Uh, it's not exactly what you have, uh, as, as you said, but it is something that definitely coordinates and looks like it's part of a, a similar set. Um, and he says that that you know doing adding that the hand tooling to everything would add three gold to the price just for the extra time. Uh, I can definitely do that. Um, measurements, do you need measurements? Uh, well, well, yeah, he holds up the piece of paper where he drew, made the tracing of the bag. Uh, this is, uh, this is the And I the point size, at this? my waist. Uh, oh, uh, uh, no, I, you know, I, I think you're about, and he, he pulls a, like a pre-made just pedestrian looking belt off of the wall and, and fits it to you. And he, he chose the, the perfect size for it. He, it's something he's been doing for quite some time. Uh, no, I, I have a pretty good eye for, uh, for, for seeing what belts fit people. And then he takes that okay. belt and hangs it back up on the rack. Okay. Uh, when can I expect this to be completed? And when would you like payment? Or do you want half now, Ooh. half later? Uh, well, uh, well, uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah. If, if that, if, if half, half now and, 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 and a half on completion is, if that's doable. Yeah. Um, uh, let's, uh, it's going to be uh, about five or six days, almost a week. I'm going to need it sooner than that. Uh, okay. If we got rid of, if we got rid of the tooling, if it was just the leather, mm. if it was just the leather, how much would it be? Uh, how soon would you be able to get it done? It's just the other. Uh, it's probably still just over three days. Uh, there's this. Just, there's a lot of stitching. <sighs> While you ponder that, <laughs> Alexander, do you tell the others? Uh, do you tell them thank you to Fable Forty Two for a raid? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Guys. Welcome, guys. Um, so do you tell the others giveaway? what you have seen? Uh, I will tell the group about the extra individual down the, the, uh, the end of the alley here. And I will also make sure to tell them about a very clever raven that once spotted a man doing very inappropriate things in life. Uh, so that way I can then use my tail of clever animal on myself mm -hmm. and went for the next 10 minutes, whenever I make a intelligence, wisdom or charisma check, I get a roll an extra, uh, D 12 with it. Wow. Okay. So for 10 minutes, um, or let me double check. It's whatever my bardic inspiration dice is. Um, so it might actually be. Uh, it's a D10. It's a D10, not a D12 right now. My bad. Still, you know, a D10 is still still pretty damn good. Uh, and so that's intelligence, wisdom, and, and charisma. charisma. Checks. Okay. Just checks. checks. No saves or anything like that. All right. Uh, yeah, well, give us a little bit of flavor of that tale. So I'm gonna pull out Unless the raven. You don't, you don't. You don't have to. You, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Nope. I was just gonna use it as a means to tell the story and also kind of point out the good dude over in the corner. Gotcha. Okay. That's fine. I mean, you don't want to role play. That's that's fine. It's a role playing game, but. <laughs> um... <laughs> I had stories prepared for the other ones, not the clever animal. <laughs> uh, so, folks, you you're there. There are five people now uh seemingly in attendance with the elf who you are here to either stake out or follow or assassinate i'm not sure which you've chosen in this moment um out on the street he is still knocking on that door more and more impatiently but no one seems to be coming to the door 
What? Is it the same it, shop that the thing is in, or is it a different shop? It's a different shop. Okay. Um, you can see the uh, side that it, it looks like uh, it's a tannery. Okay. I'll say to the big guy next to us. So what are you looking for then? Which one's favorable? You got a you got a big mouth on you. You know that, right? I have been we tell him that all the time. But this is looking exciting. Careless, it doesn't need to be exciting. We're just enjoying a day in the market. But I like the day in the market for you happen to know my boss. Hmm, interesting. You brought up you your told boss. Us his name. Yeah, you told us his name. Yeah, I just wanted to know why you were sizing us up. I thought you might fancy me or something. Well, I haven't ruled that out yet. But uh, work has to come first. Okay. Should we leave you two alone for a little bit? We'll, we'll go down this way. Right, we'll we can find another shop time. to go to if y'all need to uh, work that out. The <laughs> public doesn't bother me. Hear that careless? He's into that. Oh, all, right, all right, then. All right, uh... He's nasty. Well, there's a leather <laughs> shop right there if you guys need anything. Oh, we're headed there soon. Uh, like a, a full day you got planned out for yourself, then. What kind of leather hey, work are I you mean... getting done over there? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he, uh, he will, he will <laughs> try to hold a smirk in, but, uh, not, not fully able to hold his smirk on that. Comment in chat, came for the raid, staying for the leather. <laughs> <laughs> um, about this time with all the leather talk, uh, the uh, the elf decides that uh, there's just no one's in that building, and uh, moves down the street to where he's knocking on another door. Um, but he is kind of all up in your midst at the moment. And uh, Alexander, that one that had been behind you, you have lost sight of. You're not okay, super like... sure. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah go, go, go if you want to take a look, a look see. You're just not super sure um, what has happened to them. Yeah, I'll take a quick, a quick look, because uh, uh, I don't want him just popping up behind us. Uh, let me add my D10 real fast. That's gonna be a total of a dirty twenty. Uh, all right. I love it. Uh, so in your, you're kind of looking around, you don't see him, but speaking of right behind you, you do see a pair of guys who are whispering and pointing over maybe in your direction, maybe in the blue elf's direction. Um, uh, but they are they are kind of similarly dressed to the fellow that you had seen previously. Oh, we should just they don't look like out. the fellow I saw him. Okay. Yeah, they, they don't they don't look like him in like in the face, but but the the clothes the clothing they're wearing is is kind of similar. I mean, it's they're not wearing a uniform, but they look a little different from some of the other normal citizens of of Waterdeep. And I'll just keep that information to myself for the time being, since uh, we're still talking about leather work to this guy. <laughs> um, the door opens, and um, the elf and oops, the elf and one of his companions step inside. Keyed. 
So yes. Raphael, Raphael has told you that uh, if you skip the, the the custom tooling on the leather and just go kind of bare bones, three and a half days, he may could squeeze it down to three. Actually, I really liked your idea for the tooling. Can you okay. ship it? Can you mail it to a location? If, uh, if I yeah. Mission? Yeah, sure. Uh, do you have anything similar to this that I can purchase right now? Uh, yeah. And so he'll start kind of sorting through the inventory that's out on the shelves. And uh, there's some bags that are just kind of plain Jane, certainly not as nice. Um, maybe just a pinch smaller. Um, but uh, but he finds enough stuff for you and and says that he if, he will allow you to the use of them. And then when he ships you your stuff, if you could just ship those back to him. No, 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 no. Um, I will commission these and then I'll pay for this because I do some rough work. These may get damaged and I don't want to return damaged items to you. That's what uh, happened oh. to my last set. Uh, okay, okay. Hey, uh, Keen, do you have that the collar that he made last night on on your person on display, or is it tucked away hidden somewhere? It's tucked away hidden. I wish I hadn't given you that option. Um, <laughs> okay. It, 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 yeah. It's in it's in my bag with my other stuff. She did say she did. Okay. Oh. Cesar, Cesar. However, it's pronounced. How's it pronounced, Cesar? Cesar. Cesar. Cesar, Cesar. I'm gonna Cesar put it phonetically totally. in here. <laughs> um, uh, true. At, at one point, you had talked about wrapping it around your wrist or something, but uh, no, that's, I think that's, for the night, yeah. and then I put it into the bag. The um, the, the the so the total then for the commissioned bags uh, is eighteen gold for the, the commission and for the the custom tooling on them. Uh, the kind of plain Jane set that he has that you can take now is six gold for the whole set. Okay, so 24 gold in total? Yes. Math. Yes, 24 gold in total. Um, sure. How much would it be for for it to uh, ship to uh, where we're from? Where are we from? Candlekeep. I can't remember. Candlekeep. Candle Keep. Yes, Candlekeep. Uh, there are there are couriers that go f uh, every day, and he he knows some people. He thinks he could actually get it sent to Campbell Keep for, for no charge. All right, I'm gonna give him uh, twenty six gold to cover just in case he can't get it for free. Okay, and he can he will, keep any any difference if he wants. He will. Uh, he'll begin writing up a. Uh, a receipt on uh, he doesn't really have letterhead but uh the, he has some mm. stuff with the the shop's name kind of stamped onto it um and he'll begin kind of detailed writing out a, a, a receipt of what exactly he's making for you and kind of the the sketches that he had made like you know quick and dirty copies of those and now my outside persons um the elf is inside another store the his probably what seems to be his entourage is quickly beginning to uh surround you a bit you guys keeping your trigger fingers from getting itchy yeah i'm just sitting there flirting <laughs> guys why, why don't we give him some space let's 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 move on down yeah let's let's move on down huh. okay oh. just because you like the public doesn't mean i like the public Aren't you the one right. who performs for a living? Yo, yo you're right. <laughs> <laughs> PDA is a different thing, guys. It's a completely different thing. And if you knew more about what happened the other night with don't, you know don't who, know. Don't you would know. understand. All right. I'll follow the group. And I'm going to try and move us down so we're not getting like pincered on all sides here. Can we find our way to another shop kind of further down toward the mouth of this alley? 
down this way. Uh, yeah, move move yourselves where you'd uh, that's, where you'd uh, like. There's only like ten attacks of opportunity on you. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, they take it. <laughs> Please no, do. No, 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 no. Um, as soon as I would Alexander. say right here is where I would try to get to. We can't do the shop. Or right there, whichever one is not inside of a shop, really. Uh, yeah, so Alexander, you uh, you notice uh, just as soon as you turn around, the guy that you had seen prior who you lost track of is definitely in conversation with someone else uh, who Cesar almost just ran into when he rounded the corner. Whoop, 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 sorry, dear. Gonna scooch on past you and go over here. <laughs> Cesar, who has changed into an entirely different character. <laughs> 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 I can't help it. He's from Michigan. <laughs> oh, excuse me, don't you know? How's it going? Uh, huh? Uh, oh, hey. Nice day. Uh, sure, sure it is. What are you doing? I was just talking to my pal here. Nice to meet you. What are you doing? Weird man. Just making conversation. He fancies you. Hey, let's stop talking to strange to, to strangers. Get 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 over here. You know we can't leave you by yourself. The place you're looking for is on the other side of town. Oh, we'll okay. go there later. No idea what he's in the Anyway, nice to meet you. <laughs> I will go over to the group. Uh, Bertram, Bertram, you can see, uh, Feral, or the, the blue elf who you assume is Feral, uh, heading out of, uh, of the store that he had gone into, and now he and his entourage move down a little bit, and he is knocking on the door of the Rose and Buckle. Can I just give Alexander like a a wink or something to let him know? I'll give like yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I'll uh, I'll let that let that go. You guys have been together like, all of like sixteen hours. Yeah, honestly, Ooh, I can't do, I can't do a whole lot. I'm just gonna let Alex just Alexander sees me go, <clears throat> and that's about it. That's all I can are do. You, are you okay? That, is that bread getting to you? Do we need to get you a drink? Oh, yeah, it's I'll a pull out the wine that I got from the other day. I, I, got, I still have this. Oh, Keed, you hear a, an impatient rap at the door outside. Like so impatient and sharp that it kind of like you start around and uh, look at it. I'll, I'll turn around and look at it. And then while since... Uh, since Raphael's busy, I'll open the door for him. Uh, okay. Yeah, he uh, he's busy writing, and and kind of actually wanted to do that. He's he's just like, come in, and still, yep. still writing. And uh, standing in front of you on the other side of the door is an elf with light blue skin and a big ass red hat. Hello. He said, "Come in." And I'll move aside so that he can come in. Yes, yes, thank you. I heard him. I don't need everyone to repeat everything that is said to me. And he will stalk past you right up to Raphael and slam his hand down on the, the paper uh, where Raphael's writing. You know what today is. It's time. Raphael realizes who it is oh oh, oh i i yeah uh, hold on and he <clears throat> kind of goes under the desk and uh he brings out his you know his books for the last couple of weeks and and uh starts kind of counting coins out um all right everyone you've seen him enter the shop uh the same shop you know that keyed is in he sounds unpleasant you certainly heard him uh kind of give her some shade as he went in. 
sick. Killing time. We're not go to. I'd just be. We gotta wait till we're out of town. Are they? Are these guys trying to give us any more like gruff they're, or like confrontation? Well, they're, all, they're all for sure like eyes on the four of you. All uh, God, how many are out there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All eight of them are definitely looking at the four of you, watching everything that you're doing. I was really hoping to keep a low profile so that we could like follow these guys without being noticed. I don't don't feel like that's happening anymore. It, it might it might not happen. Um I still let, let's give it a, another another second and if they if they pop off we we say, they jump we say how high. I really don't <laughs> want to start something in the middle of town. We got we, least... we, we don't we won't start. start nothing. We won't start a thing. We've already moved and if we're forced to move again, guess who can come to our aid? Me. I'm gonna look <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna look around for like some town guard that I could shout out to if need be. I don't call I them. Don't. Uh, Alexander and Careless both, please make perception checks. <laughs> 60. So, Alexander, uh, with you... my extra D10, it's a total of a 28. A total of a 28. It is really kind of strange. You see no semblance of the city guard uh, up and down any of the avenues that you can see. Um, Thinking about it, you don't know that you've seen any since you left the hotel and headed over here. Uh, You saw several yesterday, just kind of on foot patrol, walking around. You saw the two that were in this district um, when somehow you talked about the dog diseasing the whole town. Um, but they seem, now that you're looking with a 28, they seem conspicuously absent. I should um, not have said hi yesterday to them. Now they know uh, this is too good of a neighborhood. Careless with a 16, you notice that, uh, just here, just next to Bertram, just on the ground right there, where he's dropped a little bit of crust from that baguette he was eating that there are two there are actually two rats that are uh, gnawing on the 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 heel of that bread that that he so generously dropped for them Alexander the problem is we're nobodies if the guards come by they're gonna assume we are the aggressors no matter what and we're gonna jump inside to Keed uh, so Keed, you have you have seen this. Uh, it's it's just the anticipation, Jade, that I like. Uh, you have just seen uh, Spicy Man just not be pleasant at all, and just come in and totally take Raphael's attention away from you, a paying customer. Um, excuse me, sir. He was in the middle of writing up a receipt for me. Hmm. Oh, well, then I guess you'll owe some tax on that as well, won't you, Raphael? Raphael's still busy, like, tabling up, totaling up receipts and, and counting money. He kind of looks over at you. What did you buy? A saddle? <laughs> I do not appreciate that. The fuck? Well, I that's got, just fine. I got fucking kicked. That's just fine. I uh, I don't appreciate persons of your type in stores that I have to go in and collect from. So I guess we're even. Raphael has stopped, and he is like looking at the the growing confrontation between the two of you and he's uh he's unsure what to do 
he knows that he should be doing this for this guy, but he also knows that he shouldn't be letting his customer be treated that way. I am just going to glower at him and back up a little bit so that my rump's blocking the door. Interesting. Okay. Uh, at the fact that you uh, that you seem to just glower and back down, he'll just give you a, huh. and then he'll pointedly wrap the desk and bring Raphael back to the work that he was doing. Does Raphael have any uh, plants inside the main part of the store? Any plants? What decorative, decorative plants? You know, house plants. Uh, sure. We'll say that that on the desk he has uh, just a, a little, uh, a, a little blooming flower, uh, some sort of viney kind of flower. Okay. Oh God, I'm so interested to see where this goes. Uh, and now back outside. Um, were you going to say something, Careless, before I went back inside? So, yeah, you're goading me into fighting. <laughs> you guys have been holding your cool so well. I was just seeing uh, how well you could hold it. Come on, let's just do it here. There's no guards. What did wait wait? Try to do this somewhat civil, right? We're in a new city. If we do this now, we won't get the information we need. True, that's true. We we need to know where we're going next. Unless you can hold back and leave leave someone to do the talking afterwards. I could leave them all alive if you like. I mean, in I general, like yes, that. I would prefer that. Yeah, I it. don't like the way he said it either. <laughs> There's a, a rat over there. <laughs> B, plan B. Plan A hasn't failed yet, all right? <laughs> uh, I mean, plan A was to follow these guys unnoticed, and I'd well, say this, that has failed by now. This is plan A-2. We don't need the T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> um, should we meander on down farther then, since everyone's about to uh, lose okay. sight of the door? We I'm gonna, just gonna, just gonna start stretching. I think we're gonna we're gonna uh, stand here for a minute. Well, let me just, let me message Key first. Oh, please, please do that. Please Key. do that. Tell her there's a there's a Key, um, Are you there? Whole flock of birds out here with eyes on us. He sends the message through. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am going to say ever so quietly, uh, yes, not moving my lips, but just barely a hint of sound comes out. One day for trouble, two nays for no trouble. That's the kind of thing you can't be saying. That's what I'm talking about. You can't, that's, what I, that's the thing you can't be saying. Don't. Talk to her like she a horse person. Talk to her like she a person person. Oh, sorry, Cesar said I shouldn't be... T I apologize. Do we start killing yet? <laughs> no. I'm just going to pull out my deck and kind of start shuffling and be like, you guys want a tarot reading? I'll give tarot readings. We're going to have a tarot again, reading. Again, without moving her lips. And ever so quietly, she's going to say no. She said no to killing. All right, the no killing. She didn't then. say no to polymorphing, though. <laughs> <laughs> you don't ask. Never mind. I didn't hear this. <laughs> tarot reading. I'd love a tarot reading. All right. So let's let's go. Let's form a nice little tight circle, guys. We're going to. We're gonna have a nice little tarot reading then. We're gonna have a nice little, I'll shuffle up the deck. 
try to Are like. Are you inviting the thugs, or is it just us? I, I, my it's hand. just it's just us. Oh. It's just us. I mean, I'm not gonna stop the thugs if they want to try and like watch what's going on. Alexander, do we do, do we need another another terror reading? I think we all understand the situation here. Have you guys pulled into a, a tight package yet? Yeah. And are you at least having some semblance of flipping cards while you're talking? Yeah. 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 The the two that are kind of nearest you don't kind of want to look, but you you see them kind of like spying over shoulders with interest I'll, to seeing I'll what's going on. Come, we're doing a tarot reading. Uh, 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 I mean, we're we're we're, we're working, but. Uh, uh, that, those are beautiful cards. That'd be a big girl's blouse. Come on. And Come so on. the. I try to persuade them. The, this this one here, who uh, Alexander had seen before, will definitely kind of like step into your circle to watch. And you, big man, got some really good pictures. He's a uh, he. He's definitely he's looking at, at y'all, and then he kind of keeps an eye out on the street, and he's going back and forth, but he is lingering longer on what's going on with you since nothing seems to be happening. All right, come on, over on you're going to miss it. You're going to I'm going to really try and persuade him. Come on, you're going to uh, miss it. All right. It. Roll a roll a persuasion then. 26. Oh, holy moly. <laughs> he uh he's he, he's oh there's, I, there's absolutely no way that I could do that as he takes a step toward the circle. He kind of looks back down the street. There's, there's absolutely no way that I would abandon abandon my uh, my my job, but I mean he is like shoulder to shoulder with you guys, <laughs> looking into into wow. what you're doing. Got to huddle around, arms around each other, and look into the circle. Go on, Alexander, read it. So I'll start shuffling up the deck, and I'll flip over the first card uh, to reveal. Uh, the warrior focus. Warrior Ooh. focus. Ooh. Is that one of you guys? Because none of us are I, warriors. What, Who's I, in? I, I, it, it's the uh, the one in, in the red cloak says, "Well, it's not me. It's not it. It must it must be you. You you must be the warrior." He says it to his friend. He looked like a warrior type. Oh no! Come on, big strong fella like you. This has got to be about you. And let's see, let's see what no, happened in your past. That happened within your past. I'll, Flip over the next card to show a uh, show the mercenary. Oh, were you were you perhaps a mercenary? A professional code of contact conduct. It, his his mouth is agape, and his friend like does the slowest of slow takes over to him with the mouth agape as well. Oh, you wanted to be a knight, but you couldn't. <laughs> What's the next one? Yeah, uh, yeah, and before you draw the next card, uh, Keed, it, it looks as though the, the the business inside is is basically concluding. The uh, Feral takes the takes the money and uh, snatches it away from uh, from Raphael and, and and tucks it you know cleanly inside his coat, and uh, he whispers something to to Raphael which you can't hear, and then kind of gives him a a bit of a push off shove and turns and stalks right over into your direction and you're blocking the door. And then he just looks at you for a moment. Well, I believe you owe some apologies. Hmm. And he'll kick his hat forward. You do. To whom? Do you think I should apologize? The first apology to me for insulting me the way you did. And the second <laughs> apology. Why would I do that? Are you above and my station? How tall is he? Do you pay my, um, we'll say he's average height. So we'll say he's, you know, like 1.8 meters. Like five eight, five, five nine. 
Five eight, five nine. Five eight, five. So, so I'm almost two feet taller than him. <laughs> Are you like eight feet tall? Almost, but like seven, seven and a half. I guess I didn't realize that. We would have had more conversations about doors had I realized that. But, uh... <laughs> no, no, no. She ducks when she enters doorways. Yeah, so she it sounds then as though he is like bosomed height to you or slightly below bosomed height. The second apology is to Mr. Raphael right there for being so rude when he is being so kind to pay his dues. He uh, he nearly doubles over in laughter uh, and, and, and less so than the derisive laughter that he threw at you. It, this is kind of actually like a belly laugh, uh, like a real laugh. And he looks back at, at Raphael and looks at you and kind of looks past you to the one of the guys outside. You, you hear this, I'm supposed to apologize to him. <laughs> oh, my dear. I did not think you had it in you. Uh, if you please. I have not received an apology. Mm, yes, and nor will you. Uh, are you intent on holding me hostage in this shop? I intend to not move until I receive an apology. Uh, he's going to try to uh, just muscle his way past you. You know, in a, in a yeah. huff. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a good 2000 pounds. I don't think he can muscle past me very well. Well, it's, it's, it's live weight. Uh, so outside in the reading, you definitely hear the, the kind of the raised voices and the what sounds like someone trying to squeeze through a very narrow crack and not being successful. Uh, but it is the sounds are definitely growing. So to keep this attention, you're going to have to ratchet the story time up. I, uh, as he pulls the next card, I cut in and I say, oh no, the warrior dies by the black eyed mage. And I look up and my eyes are an inky blackness of like just look like if, when oh you look into the eyes God. <laughs> it just looks like you're looking into space and I look at one of the guards the, the big one first uh -huh. you need to run you're gonna die and I cast <gasps> eye bite so I need a wisdom save 19 oh my oh. god we're wow. going <laughs> what is eye bite I haven't cast it yet but eye bite <laughs> it's go. a good spell for the spell's duration, your eyes become an inky void imbued with dread power. One creature of your choice within 60 feet of you that you can see must make a wisdom saving throw or be affected by one of the following things, which is going to be sleep. All right. Uh, this is not... What? What's my DC? 19? 19. This is not going to go well. Oh, shit. He rolled a 19 exactly. Oh, wow. Um, Please tell me he's got a minus. He does, he's got a plus zero to wisdom. Oh. Um, but uh, but he is, I will say he is still enraptured. Just looking into the depths of, of nothingness. Um, you have made his friend, though, take a couple of steps back like, the look on his face. The look on his face is, "This is the I devil." Turn to look at him if um, he moves. Yeah, he, yeah, he moves. Do, do, I look is at it, him. Yeah. Oh shit! It's up to a minute. God, let me pull his sheet up. This is not gonna go well for him either. I don't, I don't know if you want to go to round, so not just yet. Oh, that's a two. He's plus one though. Um, okay, he passes. So you're gonna you're gonna do sleep. What's that? He falls asleep. He just he just falls to the ground. Uh, he hits the ground. Oh, that's the wrong button. He hits the ground like a sack of potatoes, uh, and is asleep. I'm gonna flip over the next two cards. And be like, well, 
He was working for a shady businessman. <laughs> and he, oh, look, upside down horseman, guys. That's never a good sign for anyone. That's that means death usually. So good for you. <laughs> I'll say to like the sleeping guard that he just put to bed. Uh, the uh, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna, we're gonna do one more exchange inside with Keed, and then see if this has to continue <clears throat> popping off, or if you guys can walk your way out of it. This one guy, the the first guy that you attempted to eye bite, is is just staring into the depths of your eyes. He is he's a little bit bamboozled at the moment. Uh, Keed, uh, Feral is is giving it his all, trying to. It's it's like trying to put an oyster into a parking meter. Uh, he just, he, he trying to, trying to get past you out the door and you're just, you're not budging. No, I'm not budging. And I am even going to, um, uh, use my tail to smack him in the face a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you know, like horses, they'll slap at the flies with their tails. That's what I'm doing with my tail. Only the flies a hell of a lot bigger. Uh, do you have to roll an attack for that? Uh, I'm not intending to hurt him or anything. Um, and I, it doesn't say well, anything here, let's, about. All right, let's just, I'm just going to, I'm going to roll him just a straight dex. And, uh, so that's, uh, it, he, he manages to avoid getting hit in the face, but he can't keep trying to push past because he's using all of his wherewithal to, to, to dodge your tail. Uh, Raphael is muffling some quiet laughter. Um, and after several moments of this, he, Feral, Feral, Feral will stop, step back, straightens his coat again, straightens his hat, and he looks right at you, and then says, Guards! And that oh, is where we're going to take a break. That's, ah, yeah. damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks for for coming back uh just before the break it looked kind of like things might be ready to kick off uh even though our party has really tried very hard to not be the instigators here uh and and they're not it feral is the uh the absolute instigator here uh he has just yelled out and all of you outside heard him yell for guards um Bertram, you can see um, a couple of these folks kind of rush toward the... Uh... Can I see which oh. of all the people that are loitering in this alley, which of them all react when he yells for guards? Um, well, certainly all the ones that you had eyes on in this part of the square do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you have uh, Sleepy up here, who's asleep, and like all uh, these all these hooded guys, also. Uh, yes, they they certainly seem to make ready. Uh, so you have Sleepy up here, who is asleep. You have Big Guy, who um, is still lost in the depths of uh, of Carolus's eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, you have Amador over here, which uh, is Spanish for the lover, who was uh, talking to Carolus earlier. He, he reacts and moves up, uh, and the, the two down here in the hoods for sure, uh, like, make ready stance. But they all kind of gather around the door of the shop. No one has, at this point, advanced any of you. Um, Keed, you feel... I mean, as soon as they move for the door, I'm going to step forward and say, I, I, I can't allow you gentlemen to, to go in there. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, but there is a horse's ass blocking the door. Nobody can get in there. Yeah. I just want to put a hand on Bertrand's shoulder. I'm like, let's let them all group up first. Um. And they, they Bertram, they you speaking to them? They don't really kind of pay you any mind. They're they're focused on the one guy at the front who had been with Farrell, who had stayed outside. Uh, I can't think of any delicate way to put this, but Keed, you you feel like just what must be a man's face pressed against your butt while his friends behind him are trying to push in as well. 
it's it's not enough to move you at all, but it definitely you have man face on your your hindquarters. Uh, no one has attacked; they're just trying to get into the room. I'm gonna I'm look going at Cesar. To defecate. <laughs> <laughs> This is taking a turn I wasn't ready for, guys. I was ready for a tonight. But you know to defecate on command? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I'm right there with you. It's as though you spoke the words I was thinking. Um, well, yeah, so right the, the guy who was pressed right up against you, you can hear him like, what, what, what the heck? Ah! Ah! ah back <laughs> up! Ah! And so, Bertram, you... <laughs> You don't see it because of the kind of the crush of people, but uh, but you instantly get. You know how I you smell, smell something like, with your Bertram. mouth. Yep. Bertram, I can smell I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, they uh, the you guys, guys see how you, like you can taste it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was trying to tell you about earlier. Yeah. Yep, uh-huh, uh-huh. The, the guys behind, uh, they don't really let up on their press, but they they definitely are taking it in stride and having a good laugh at their uh, their compatriots. Uh, I guess we'll call this guy... Doodoo Man? Name tag on. Biff. We're, <laughs> I think we're going to call him... <laughs> I'm going to call him Poopsie. Okay, man, I was uh, just waiting for where. Where's Buddy's brain gonna go? Where's it gonna I'll, go? Where's it gonna go? <laughs> nope. Uh, yep. There's Poopsie right there in the doorway. Uh, Akid, I I would love to see what you do next. Uh, Feral is 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 just kind of Im- impatiently like waiting. He he thought he had put you in your place by calling for them, and now has seen that they can't pass, and now has smelled the smell that you can taste, and is uh. <sighs> Guards, get in here now and deal with her. And uh, you hear the man for my you, apology. You hear the man behind you, who may be suffocating a little bit, uh, maybe vomiting a little bit at the same time. Uh, he's not having a good go of it. Uh, the Pharaoh looks at you, and then he looks back at Raphael. Well, aren't you going to protect the agent of the owner of this store? And Raphael looks at him and looks at you and looks back at him and says, No. (laughs) Bertram, this is no one has drawn a weapon. Someone has been shot upon. I'm just looking at Uh, everyone. They're trying to get in. Uh, Sleepy is still asleep. Uh, is there a length on that sleep? Uh, no. Damage if another creature shakes the sleeper awake. Okay. But obviously my spell um, continues, so I just keep looking at all the others. Yeah, um, Ibite is still up. He can just keep go- looking at everybody. Sixth level spell. Oh, I see. I, I didn't realize that. I thought they had to be looking at you. A creature of your choice within 60 feet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, choose choose one, my man. Uh, I'll do this. Oh, actually, uh, I'll do Amador, my, fa- my mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be interested to see what effects you put onto, uh, onto Amador. Uh, this is a wisdom save. Always. Not his strong suit. Oh, that is only a 16. He falls asleep. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, Until like we a, go into rounds, I'm just going to keep looking at all of them. Like a sack of potatoes. He, oh, wrong button again. Damn it, buddy. Son of a bitch. Man, roll 20 is like slowing down. He is asleep for now. Um... The the he falls to the ground asleep, and this guy behind him. Um, wow, my pinger doesn't even work. There it goes. He my pulls pinger. out. He, <laughs> That's a personal problem, buddy. <laughs> oh man, I'm sure that they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna clip that. Um, <laughs> Z is ready on the clip trigger right Z's now. Ready on the clip trigger. Uh, he pulls out. He pulls out a whistle and just starts blowing hell on this whistle. 
Can I um, smack that whistle out of his hand? Am I close enough to that? No, you'd have to move to him. He's like, he is here. He's like 15 feet from you. I'll just look at him. Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to step to him. Uh, all right. I will let you make a, like a grapple at him to, to knock it, or maybe, maybe just an athletics to try to knock it out of his hand. What about or like acrobatics? A... Or are you going to do a strike? Unarmed strike or acrobatics, they're the same modifier. What would you like? Uh, your choice. We'll unarmed strike it. I'm just going to like, just like karate chop this whistle <laughs> out of his hand. All right. Roll versus his armor class. 18. <laughs> the 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 whistle clatters to the floor. And uh, there's there's no need for that. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> and now, my friends, it is time for initiative. Should roll twenty be able to keep up? Um, let's see. Poopsie has to roll. Yes. So many dense tokens here. Oh yeah, this map is a mess. Oh, fuck me running. Are you kidding me? Hey, Cesar. You know what? You're ahead of the guys that are asleep. Am I? Uh... <laughs> I have plans. Man, I'm... I had plans. Why am I not in the initiative order? I rolled you a 24. Click. You got to click the, uh, the you icon. Make sure you to click your, make token. your token is clicked. Oh. That's all right. False. I will add turn. You should be able to then just, you're at zero right now. Just make it to whatever your uh, initiative was. Back to 20, 24. All right, uh, and Key rolled in, and Feral. And the two guys that are asleep, I'm not going to roll them in just yet, because I think roll 20 might actually crash. Ah, there's Z. My pinger isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't uh, clip the uh, defecation. There's, there's time. Sort, come on now, sort descending. Uh, all right, it looks as though Alexander is at the top of the order. Uh, then I'm going to, where to go? Pull out one of my, uh, one of my tarot cards. I'm going to flick it 30 feet. Why does it go near me? Actually, no, it goes, it goes farther than that. So about here and then cast hypnotic pattern in a 30 foot cube to get all of these guys. I'm not going to get burnt, but I'm going to get like basically everybody else back here. If, if my pinger will show. Is your pinger broke too? It's a common don't problem. Don't show your days. pinger. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. To be Which honest. Which bans people for that? <clears throat> yeah, that's probably true. Um, wait, so where do you want to center it? I want to try and center it to where it's going to get um, pretty much everybody on the other side of Bert that's away from us uh -huh. and within the hypnotic pattern. They have to roll a DC right. 17 wisdom. So you can get, I think, the upper three guys, uh, uh, Poopsie and the guy below him and Amador, but I don't think you can get the two guys in robes without getting Bert. That. Oh, it's wait, okay. no, you said th a 30 foot cube? 30 foot cube. Fuck yeah. me. Okay, wow, yeah, you huge. can actually get that. Yeah, you can get that whole that whole row there. 
Um, all right, so what's my DC 17? DC, God, these wisdoms, man. These guys are not smart. Okay, so this is going to be from the bottom rolling up. Um, Am I making the save? No. No, I've aimed it to where you're outside of it. You're like right, just so on the precipice. What's the... Feel save that become charmed for the duration. Okay, so this guy is Wait. charmed. Sorry, it just roll twenty since we're coming from break is is just at a uh, at a crawl for me. I we'll would say him. hit fresh, but that might screw everything up. Uh, it's possible that it does, but I sometimes I actually stop and. Uh, oh God. And restart. Change the music there. Okay, now uh, Amador, I'm going to say automatically fails because he, and it doesn't do damage, right? No damage, it just charms them and makes uh, makes their speed zero and incapacitated. So, even they're if distracted Amador, by the pretty lights. Even if Amador wakes up, he is charmed. This guy, that's an 11. He is charmed. And <laughs> Poopsie, I'm actually going to give Poopsie advantage since he is <laughs> being a little bit squished and covered in poo. Uh, but with that advantage, he rolled a two and a six. Nice. This is so. wild. And it's that not dude. that grassy kind either, because Keen's an omnivore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Alexander, <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to do to wreck my world? Uh, with my bonus action, I will use my um, Tales from the Beyond again. And I will roll a d12 to figure out which one of those it is, and then my turn will be done. Okay. Uh, it is a eight, which gives me the tale of the phantom that I will probably use on my next turn. But for right now, my turn is now over. I'm not moving or anything like that. Copy that. Careless. Um, <clears throat> I look to him. Obviously, he's already passed. I, look, I said run. Um, and I'm just going to look at this guy here. Mm hmm. So he will With eye bite still? Yep. Uh, that is a 13. He falls asleep. <laughs> There's going to be no one left to wake anyone up. <laughs> it's starting to look that way, isn't it? Yep. Uh, anything else, Careless? Um, I just need to check something if this character's got it. Mm, no, okay. I haven't got. Quick and you don't have that yet. level twelve thing. That I don't level have twelve, that level thing, 12 that thing. No, <clears throat> uh, that's me done. All right. But I look at him. Uh, I'll tell you to run. I don't know if you'd want to intimidate or. This is for big guy. Yeah. Yeah, give me uh, I'll, your choice of intimidate or persuade. Either intimidate. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's what you Jeez, I'm crow. Yeah. Just looked at him. <clears throat> wow. Uh, well, wow. I mean, I guess, I guess I have to roll against that. Uh, really? Please be a one. Well, no, it was actually it was a nineteen. Uh, but uh, no, that's the, the thirty is basically unbeatable um <laughs> one, two, five, 10, 15, 20, 30. he will make it out to here and then you hear him yelling for the the city guards shit uh keyed i said I am waiting for an apology. 
And then I'm going to uh, look at Raphael and I'm gonna nod and glance at like the back room or something. Okay, he will he will look at you and, and then look at the back room and 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 you, you you feel that he clocks what your meaning is and he begins to slowly kind of move back into the storeroom out of out of harm's way and you see the storeroom door quietly 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 begin to shut and i would like to uh ready an action mm -hmm. uh if um if he moves anywhere i would like to step on his foot with my hooves um, okay. First, I need to know how tall the ceiling is. I've been under the assumption that it's just about as tall as I am, so I'm like skimming it with my head. No, we're, oh, we're going to say that this is a. Uh, there's parts of of Waterdeep are are kind of extravagant and austere, and so this is kind of a high ceilinged um, shop. It, it maybe it was a manor at some point that has been converted into a shop, so that. The ceilings are, are are quite tall in here. They're probably in like the the 15 15 ish foot range. All right, all right. Thank you. Uh, yep. But yeah, uh, that's that's what I'm going to so do. You're, if so you're holding moves, an action, yes. And if he moves towards me, I would like to take that action to uh, basically step on him. And if he moves, that's only if he moves towards you. Um. If he is within my reach and he moves and stays within my reach, yes. Gotcha. Copy that. Copy that. Um, uh, Poopsie, who is uh, charmed, while charmed by the spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Um, he's. Ah, ah, oh, 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 ah, move back. Oh. Um, the guy behind him, uh, in a similar, similar, uh, way is, is charmed. And so he doesn't really get to do anything. And now we're on to Feral. <sighs> and he spins around to see what Raphael's doing and notices Raphael is gone. Oh, no. And then... Oh, no. Rounds about, rounds back toward you, and slowly draws his rapier, and is in much more of a. He's not in an aggressive stance, but he's in a guard stance. So he is, he is ready, but he is not going to mount an attack against you. But he also is out of your reach at this point. Just quickly. Massive thank you to Alias Prime for 300 bits and a gifted sub. That's a D6 Yay, inspiration. Alias Prime. Yay. D6 so inspiration. let's let's see. Uh, Bertram with a 20 is going to get that D6 inspiration, uh, which must much, be used Alias. tonight. Thank you. We're up. Um, and now, Bertram, it is your turn. So... Cool. Within your reach, two of them are <laughs> charmed, two of them are asleep, and uh, one of them is completely unaffected. The, the one just south of you is completely unaffected. Mm, and, yes. and is and is on a lower initiative than Cesar. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to look to Careless and uh, like nod toward big guy. I'm like, can you handle him? Big guy's gone. Yeah, he's running, but oh, he's calling. He was calling for the guard. Can we uh, I can't. Can we shut him up with with what I've got now. No, I don't want to leave Keith uh, alone. Uh, she's not alone. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go after Big Guy because he's making too much noise. Okay. I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just gonna sprint right toward him. The uh, the red 
robed guy is uh yeah, do your thing what's he got uh he has a dagger Ooh. uh that's actually 24 it does oh. hit uh and you my friend are gonna take 1d4 plus 3 uh you're gonna take five piercers five piercing damages as as you leave his range that's fine all right so as i run i'm gonna pull the the wooden sword and uh oh shit i forgot you were a monk and you've got like 100 feet of movement or something oh yeah (laughs) he ain't getting away and i'm just gonna smack this guy over the head Okay, I uh, I just want to make sure that I'm clear here. The guy who's actively calling for the police, you're going to beat down at an intersection. Just checking. Yeah. Just checking. Yep. Okay, love it. <clears throat> uh, nineteen to hit. Uh, that actually hits him. Okay. Yes, but it hits him. damage first uh eight non-lethal damage and Mm -hmm. i will stunning strike okay there's a dc i have to roll against that is that right uh yes could you tell me yeah i'm getting there hold on (laughs) stunning strike where do they put it? Con save, DC 14. DC 14 con save. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a Kraken. So he saves against your stunning, stunning strike. That's fine, because I'm going to, like, chop him in the neck with my second attack. Okay. Ooh, that's only a 13, though. 13 is a miss. Have a D6. Oh, yeah, shoot, I forgot that. Okay, well, I've got my uh, bonus action. So let's flurry of blows. Mm-hmm. Um, unarmed strike. I'll use my d6 on this one. You don't have to unless you miss. You Can Can I Can I hold it to, to see if I miss? Yeah, you declare yeah. it afterwards. Yeah. Ow, I thought you had to use it before you think. Anyway, yeah, it's a all right. kinder, gentler game here at Candle Keep. Fair enough. 22 to hit on that one. 22 hits for sure. Um, which is another seven points of damage and another stunning strike. Uh, so that is a dirty 20. Con save, you said? Yeah. Dirty 20. All right. Last unarmed strike. Uh, natural 19, total of 25. That hits. And a third stunning streak. Uh, what's the damage on it? Damage is another seven. Seven. <clears throat> this is your day. <laughs> oh, that is a one. Nice. It really is your day. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he is... Uh, he is stunned. All right. And I'm just gonna like, do I have movement left? I think I moved 30 feet. Is it an action to like, just grab him and move him back in, like pull him back into the alley a little bit? Let's say that you can spend all of your movement and pull him back to get into this one square, the one square just south of you, but you can't get any further than that. You can pull him to there. I'm like, hey, Uh, there's there's no need for that. Yeah, you move one south and drag him into the square that you're in now. Yep. So that he's uh, somewhat off the street. Yeah. We're just talking, big guy. Let's go. (laughs) When I lose him later, let me know that big guy is under Bertram. Got Uh, it. Anything else, Bertram? No, that's everything. That's all my monkey crap. Cesar. All right. Um, 
Jesus Christ. Hold on. There's a lot of <laughs> conditions going on here. I, I had an idea, but that became irrelevant the further down the order I got. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, so to let you know, this guy here yeah. is, is under no effects at all. Um, okay. And, yeah, and he is this, almost next. <laughs> this one's on fire. He's or, charmed. Oh, charm. Char mm, okay. Well. Um. I can't go through smashing people or else I'm going to start fucking up charms and whatnot. You can. You I got that old, fireball we talked you? about before the break. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, I guess I'm going to go with an old, hold on, what am I, what's my, uh, this is not terrible. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to go up to, to here, to this one, mm -hmm. um, and just, just be like, all right, look here, look here, you don't want, you don't want to be doing this, right? Mm -hmm. You see your friends over there, that one's sleep, that one's charmed, you, you, you want to stand down right here and right now. Um, I think that's just going to be a straight. What do I have better? Uh, persuasion check. Okay. No weapons out. Uh, just, just some kind words from a fully armored pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Roll it up, man. No. Oh. God. <laughs> yeah, he, he rolled a 16 to beat you. So. Okay. Um, you know that part in he's, uh he's 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 like mm, mm. you know that you know that part in Hot Buzz where he's like ah like ah uh, uh, a shame and he cocked the shotgun. Yeah. It's that <laughs> <laughs> it's that but the sword comes out of my hand. <laughs> he's like no like right. oh no shame shink. <laughs> um, got it, got it. I don't know if anything I got else. Maybe I got a bonus action I could throw at him real quick. Um, shield of Faith. Why not? I'm standing here. He's going to go off on me. So I'm just going to throw up Shield of Faith while I'm standing here. All right. Remind me what Shield of Faith does. It increases my AC by two. Gotcha. That's going to put me at uh, <clears throat> 23. Put you at unhittable by my NPCs. All right, anything else for you? Uh, nope. <laughs> All right. Uh, this guy continues to just be charmed in a daze, and his turn is done. Uh, so now this last guy, who is at initiative order three. Um, let's see. Who has wreaked the most havoc that he can see? Um since you're threatening him the most, Cesar, he is going to cast um, Command at you. I don't you. like that. Um, the It's a wisdom save, please. He'll be fine. 21. He looks at you <clears throat> and says, grovel. And like you, you feel that like some magic, like maybe had come at you, but it just kind of glances off your brow like, like a gnat. Um, because you really have faced his, uh, his DC pretty badly. <laughs> um, and then he is going to, he's going to move out to here uh but that does provoke an ao if you'd like to i i do i do want to i do want to take that i i figured you would <laughs> <laughs> all right hopefully come on don't make me look foolish in front of the people now uh that's only 14. but it's only a 14 that beats his armor class <laughs> He's wearing robes, dude. Come on now. Uh, it's gonna be fuck. Mm. Yeah, it's only gonna be. That's gonna be five. Okay. Seven. 
I don't know if I can add the blessed strike on that. I already used my bonus action for. It doesn't take. It's that like a. No. Oh. <laughs> Once per turn. All right. Well, then it's a seven then. Minus two. All right. That's magic. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you have hurt him not only physically but but spiritually and mentally as well. Oh, good. Uh, uh, Alexander. Uh, uh, wait, uh, directly before, uh, you all here, even in the midst of the chaos, except for Keed and Farrell and the folks that are asleep, you hear a little bit of commotion in the distance as though maybe folks are running away or maybe folks are running this way it is still currently distant uh alexander please have your turn uh let's see here let's see he is can i can i still see the guy who's trying to run away from like run down the alleyway yeah, he's actually under the Bertram token. No, 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 not not that one. The one that Cesar just struck. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, if you move five feet south, you can see him. You just got to get around the corner of this, the corner of the building here. So yeah, from there, you can you can see him. Okay. Uh, with my action, I am going to cast vicious mockery, and yell very loudly, you run like a little girl! DC 17, Wisdom. Will a five beat that? No. Okay, uh, then, he does, <laughs> then he does not succeed. Uh, so that, is that 11 points of damage? What is spiritual focus? Uh, so... When I cast a damaging spell mm -hmm. um, with my focus, I get to add an extra D6 worth of damage to one of the uh, to one of the damage rolls. So two, five, eleven points of damage total. Uh, okay, he's uh, he's he's hurt. He's hurt by by your mockery. Um, he stumbles a bit. He's he's not looking as fresh as he was for sure. And then I will go ahead and, and with my buttered inspiration, give Cesar a D10 to add to his tack rolls. Should he feel as though he needs to hit a little bit better than what I just saw him try to do beforehand? He was running away. <laughs> and he hit him. <laughs> it was the uh, before he ran away part I'm talking about. <laughs> hit batter. Uh, excellent. Uh, anything else, sir? Yep, that'll be my turn. Carolus. I walk around the corner with him there. Is he looking at us? Doesn't matter anyway, but it was for effect. Uh, yeah, he, like, he turned back on the mockery because he was going to like re re rebuke him but now he just feels bad about himself I look at him and I say power word kill <laughs> but obviously I've just put him to sleep <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah that's a, that's, that's, a, that's a wisdom save yep. yeah that's a five he drops to the ground like a sack of fucking potatoes he thinks he dies he is, asleep. He thinks he is dead. Um, this look, is amazing. Look into the store window and see him. I don't know if you can see uh, me. I don't know that there's a window you can look in. You can, you for sure see that one guy is wearing all of what used to be inside of Keed. Um, <laughs> but uh, so but he's not really... Power, he's not... What's that smell? Stinks. Not he's not moving away. He's just kind of staring at her tail. Because he has a move of zero. Um, can he see me? Uh, he cannot. He is staring at her tail. That's my action done then. Uh, all right. Uh, big guy, I guess, is still technically stunned until 
your next turn begins, Bertram. End of my turn, yeah. The end of your turn. End That's of right. My That's turn. the monk stunlock. Uh, yep. Yeah, he will uh, just kind of like try to muffledly get some words out, but they don't really make any sense. Uh, and I guess we'll move on to Keed. All right, so he is with outside of my reach, correct? Yeah, was well, your reach five or is your reach? You have a reach 10. You have a reach. Uh, shoot, where does that say? I, here? I assumed it was um, a five, but you might have reached 10. No, where? Five. On D&D yeah, Beyond, be would I find? Uh, in your attacks? You're not class with a large creature, are you? I. Think no, no. An arm strike an arm strike and hooves is a five foot reach. So yeah, he is out okay. of your out of your attack range currently. Okay. Um and because I how long was I inside of that building before all of this happened? At least an hour? I got a tour um, around everything and looked at everything, right? You know where everything inside is, but it was probably no more than 25, 30 minutes. But you know where everything is, if that's what okay. your question is. Are there any extra long uh, belts nearby? Yeah, so on the wall near the counter um, is where you saw Raphael pull down the belt to size you. That was a perfect for me. Hold on. Well, that's just us being. Okay, it's not frozen anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, on the. Um, on the wall near the counter where Raphael had pulled down the belt that perfectly sized fit you, there's a, there's a whole number of different ranges and sizes of belts. Hmm. How close am I to the desk? Uh, Since I am blocking the doorway, I need to know how long, how far away from the desk I am. You're probably 20 odd feet from the desk. Uh, the ferrule is between you and the desk. The desk is near the back toward where the storeroom is. I will say you don't notice anyone pushing on you anymore. And the only voices mm -hmm. you've heard recently outside are your friends. Right. But I don't want to move because that for would sure. allow him to leave. And for that's sure, not for sure. what I'm here for. I, I am going to um, um, ready an action. And should he in any form attack me? or come mm -hmm. at me threateningly, I would like to um, um, use my hooves attack and try to step on him. Okay, copy that. Uh, before my turn is over, I am still waiting for that apology. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what you get from him on, on the end of your turn. It's just a, a derisive snort laugh but not as haughty as it has been he's he's defensive but he's kind of checking the surroundings out as well just as you were uh anything else nope that's it just gonna ready my uh hooves action uh poopsie still covered in poop still charmed uh the guy behind him a little bit of poop on him Still charmed. Feral. Yes, well, maybe I was somewhat impetuous in saying those things to you, but uh, I'm sure there are better ways to deal with this than uh, how we are currently engaged. And he will actually very slowly put his rapier back into the scabbard. <laughs> and he will take a couple of steps back from you, back to where he knows the storeroom door is, and try that. But the door is the storeroom door is locked. So now he's all the way back at the counter. The door behind him is locked, and he is just looking at you currently. Hmm. Are there uh, other options other than an apology? The, the word almost almost has distaste in his mouth when he says it. Um, perhaps something I can 
provide for you, or maybe we just all go our separate ways. Consider that, my dear. And then it will be Bertram's turn. <laughs> He's going to stun lock Sorry. my guy again. <laughs> um, actually, I'd like to just drag him back into this alley if I can while he's, he's stunned. Not, he's not stunned anymore. But he's stunned till he, the end he, of my turn. Oh, your turn? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, monks are broke, dude. Broke. Yep. I thought it was the end of his turn, but that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Monk. Yeah, we can... Uh, so, yeah, we'll say that since you're dragging him, you can only go, like, half your move. Yeah. That's still so, a good... 20, 20 feet though, just with base sure. movement. So move where you want to go, and I'll slide his token along. Uh, I need to do the thing in my jig. So I'm just going to go to here and just kind of prop him against the wall in front of me here and just say. Kind of like I that? I think we should. Uh, yep. Or between just, uh, you and Cesar. Uh, between me and Cesar would be great. I'd say, uh, let's keep things quiet, and uh, I think we can all come to an understanding here. And I'm going to hold my action to see okay. if he... Uh, to see if he says anything or, or tries to call for guards again. All right. Um, so I'm holding an attack your... action, specifically. Yeah. Copy that. And Does that... that complete your turn? Yep, that's all I'm doing. So he then is no longer stunned. Correct. And it is now Cesar's turn. So the guy that you had been taunting, you heard Carola say power word kill, and he hit the ground like a sack of potatoes. Bertram has just drug the one you know as big guy uh, in between you and is propped up against the wall. That's yeah, you all think you all think Careless with a twenty-nine on deception. You think he is just a bad mofo. No, like, I, how I, did, I, like how did he get that? I don't. I don't question it. I don't question yeah. it. Like he bashes people on a daily basis and is like <laughs> constantly talks about turning pe turning rats into. I'm like, clean it up later. Okay. <laughs> um. Can um am I in shouting distance of Keed from here? Um, sure. You could, I mean, you can see her hindquarters, um, in the doorway, uh, obviously blocking it. And she is, seems to be fully upright and alert. So I, I don't know why you couldn't just yell to her. I'm gonna be like, uh, that, that, we gotta get that red package to go. Um, and I'm gonna point my sword at the guy Bertram just dropped down in front of me and whatever he's gonna do, I'll assist. Whatever Bertram's going to do. What's that again? Red Wait. package to go? Red, red package to go. We got to expedite it. <laughs> <laughs> Send it UPS overnight. <laughs> uh, anything else for you, Cesar? Um, no, hopefully everyone got my meeting of we need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right. Um... Charmed, uh, asleep and thinks he's dead. Alexander. Uh, it, it, again, just prior to your acting, the, the sounds of commotion are a little bit louder. It definitely now sounds as though voices and footsteps are headed in this direction, but there's a lot of city noise and a lot of shenanigans going on here, so you can't quite tell how far away things are, but you you get the sense that you're on a ticking clock. Okay, well then. I think all I can really do at this point, because I'm holding my concentration on this hypnotic pattern that's keeping everyone to fucking sleep right now, or charmed and not wanting to do anything, uh, my best course of action is to still just focus on that and like keep an eye out for guards coming from uh, the main two junctions that we're not kind of like fighting people from 
just in case I need to try and interact with some guards and you're gonna hold an action down. to attack to attack the guards. No, to talk to the guards to persuade I them see. that things are not uh not my fault. Not my fault. Gotcha. Okay. I, I, you know, you can't blame me for trying to get you to hold an attack action on the guards. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get in melee. No, that's not my thing. Not my thing. No. All right. Anything else for you? Uh, I, th- I'll scoot up a little bit more so, like up here to try and get a better advantage of, um, Quill Alley and the other alley that I just kind of stepped away from. So I'm more like centered, um, maybe acting like I'm about to check on the man who's on the ground, like, oh no, what's wrong with you? What's happened? While I'm looking for the guards. And that'll be my turn. Gotcha. All right. Careless. Um, I walk... If I am able to walk into the shop, I do. Uh, you cannot. She uh, she is blocking. Though, you actually have been not in, but but have seen another way into the shop before. That's up and above, though, isn't it? Um, can I see? But you there? but you know it connects because Raphael yeah. came downstairs. Just look in. He doesn't want to waste his fly, buddy. No, I, I get four of them a day. <laughs> um, can I see him? If you... Mm, no, I would say with the, the people that are standing there and then Keed's form and the fact that it's through a doorway and he's away from her, yeah, you're not going to be able to see him. And if you did, it would be a sniper shot of some kind that you'd run the risk of hitting Keed or waking up one of the charmed guys. Uh, can I like give her a smack on the back eye and just like gently to move, so I can see? Or sure, you you'll have to weave through uh, the poop alley. I don't want to go in. We'll I don't s- need to go in. I just want to like tap her out. Of, like, excuse me. Kid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll 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 say that you could do that. The. Um, Poopsy and and his friend right behind him don't they don't really kind of give way because their speed is zero, but you can kind of push them enough to to get past them and get right up to her. And I look to him. Well, now she she can't move until her turn though. Oh. Action economy. Yeah, but she's only class as medium. Uh, a hind only comes if, up to here. If, if he wants to come in underneath her, like in between, yeah, your your back, no, your back hind of a horse is not here. It's here, you know. Well, she said that she's like nearly eight feet tall at the head. So. At the head. But yeah, so if if you want to crawl beneath her legs to get into the shop, if or I just like lay down, up, lay down, float up and see over her. <clears throat> Tell me what you're trying to shop properly, guys. Tell me what you're trying to do. I just you're trying to get a shot off on him. Yeah. All right, I'll see where this is going. We'll let you float up a little, and then you can see kind of over her shoulder at him. But I will say that if you take a a shot with a damaging spell, uh, she will be at at risk. Isn't it just eye bite? No, it's not a damaging spell. Um, I look to him, and I say. Power to kill. And my eyes change a color. But I try to polymorph him into like a, a small tortoise or something. I'm just looking for what my options are. Da-da-da. But yeah, is, I want is, poly- is, is polymorph for concentration as well? Yeah, that's why I dropped my eye bite. But there's still, oh, you there's still, the eye bite. Gotcha, there's gotcha, still gotcha. be asleep until someone wakes them up. Gotcha. <clears throat> uh, um, yeah, what's the save on Polymorph? 19. Wisdom. Wisdom? Yeah. I'm trying to look for... I'm just trying to Polymorph it into a small creature. 
Will a four do it? No. Then he is successfully polymorphed into whatever you... I say, come on in, Keed. Pick him up. Let's go. So is, is he just... Yeah, let's just say he's a tortoise. A small, yeah, he's a small tortoise. He's a small tortoise. <laughs> so pick him up. Let's go. Um... It's not my turn yet, so I can't do anything. Come on, it's your well, go. Er, everyone, sure, out, every, everyone outside except for one guy is asleep or charmed, and he has a held action and a sword on his throat. So I will say that that <laughs> we can we can break the order for a moment here. I'll even turn the. Have turn you not order. seen that new uh, series by um, oh, what they call Viva the Dirt League? They're doing mm -mm. D and D stuff. No. Oh, it's brilliant! And it's like, come on. Move! It's not my go. Like it's all like that. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. All right. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> all right. Uh, I will finally move out of the doorway. I'll pick up the tortoise. Um, I'll rap on the door that I guess he was leaning against, and uh, say, "Raphael, I need those things now." Please. Uh oh. Okay. You froze for just a moment, and now you froze again. Internet. Oh the no! What, it, what have you, you done, Carolus? I polymorphed her into a 56k <laughs> modem. <laughs> Turned her internet into a tortoise. <laughs> Are we good yet? Are we yep. good yet? Uh, that's yeah. That's uh, that's better. Sounding better. You're still a okay. little jerky on the motions, but I can hear you. Uh, you right. said that you, you, Raphael, I need that stuff that I was going to get from you. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, he, 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 yeah, he had pulled the stuff down and it's sitting on the counter right there. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Hello again. I am. I'm going to uh, take um, a handful of gold out of my uh, coin purse that was stuck right in my bosom and place it on the uh, counter next to him, like five, ten gold. Um, okay. Uh, let's go 10 gold just to be sure. Thanks. Sorry for the problems. My name's Keed, Ered and I. And uh, we're going to take this piece of the problem out of here for you. And I'm going to grab the things as, as well as the tortoise and leave. And by this point, he has the door cracked and, and he's like, oh, oh, okay, uh, th th thank you. As she uh, leaves. Keed. <laughs> go on, sorry. Th thank, thank you trying to remember uh, like where he had seen the warlock before and what happened to feral and now you have a turtle he's trying to puzzle all of this out um right. we're gonna we're gonna kill the person that owns the place as well so you'll own this place eventually so keep it quiet don't tell anyone <laughs> uh, uh uh yeah uh, sh uh sure he's like a million miles an hour now uh, okay. And so Keep the up the two good of you... work, and I'll pick up the, the gold pieces that Keith put on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and leave. How many gold pieces was it? Ten? <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? Carlos is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> really? Um, you don't see it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I've added it now. It's too late. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, Keed, when you when you step out of the shop, it's kind of a sight to behold. There's one guy who's just kind of standing there, staring at where you used to be, covered in your excrement. Uh, the guy next to him is staring at him, kind of it's excrement all over his arm. There are other guys who are just asleep in the street. Other guys who are just kind of staring into nothingness. Uh, Bertram and Cesar are double drawn on a guy who's sitting on the ground and not at all inclined to make a move against them. Um, so yeah, this is this is what you step out into. I am going to be careful of where I step. Um, and I am going to... Shit! <sighs> Stop. No. Wiping my foot uh, on the floor. I did. <laughs> um... No, I Careless, do you have your bottle with you ready? Yes, I do, yes. Let's go. Well, Here, let's wait. hold the turtle. The turtle I hand him the turtle. Okay, I'll hold the turtle. I hand him the turtle I put on my belt with the new bags and um, I the turtle back from him. 
Uh, you and everybody might want to get into that bottle, and I'll stash you in my. That's what I was going to suggest. And we'll get out. We'll wait till we uh, get Caesar, out of sight you got my of stuff? these. It, 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 it's here. It's here. It's right here. Right here. Don't you move. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait till we get out of the sight of the people that are still awake, and then I grab everyone. I put the bu- uh, put the bottle inside one of her pouches, and I grab the rest of us, and we zip inside the bottle. Uh, As, did you take uh, the turtle with you, or no, do not, I? T- the tortoise can't come unless it's willing. But in the tortoise form, hmm. will it be willing? <laughs> would it know better? Would it know better? Hmm. I'll allow it. Okay. Um, <laughs> as you're, uh, this, gonna, this is this on is going much, guy here, much longer, I just, longer than I thought. Um, I'm sorry. Go, I was gonna, before we leave, I'm going to tell Big Guy like, when the guards get here, you're going to explain to them real nicely how uh, it was all a misunderstanding, and uh, you guys got a little uppity, but we worked it out. We clear. Yeah, I'll tell the guards that, but unless you kill him, this isn't over because we're under contract. Just we're under contract. He, he's, he's he's not he's not making a threatening move at all. He's just he's very matter of fact telling you he will defuse the situation with the guards, but you cannot run far enough from them. Give him my word, we'll kill him. I'll kill him. I don't mind. Huh? We're going to his house, I think. <laughs> I'm sure we'll meet again. He, and, and as you back away, he makes no move to, to stand or to do anything. Don't make me cast power or kill on you as well. <laughs> the other people oh he's power Oh my god, does like he do that? Don't, you can't soft. do that to Carolus. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. You can't do that to Carolus. Yeah, see, here's the thing. You like, you, you, hey, come in, get the reading. Oh, come on, big guy. And now you've just turned out to be a bunch of goddamn ruffians working against the guy he's hired to protect. So, oh, yeah, he, he he gives you the finger, man. Oh, man. I never finished his reading. I only got to the end with a horse. He's not dead, so a good thing. we didn't show him what was on the journey. That's true. Uh, so are you going to retaliate or are you guys just get in the bottle and head? No, out? it's big guy. Okay. He's- now we're going. All right. And with the ending of the uh, fight music, this encounter is finished. I'm going to feed him some lettuce and tomatoes because I know (laughs) tortoises like lettuce and tomatoes. Do you have that in your bottle? In the bottle, yeah. What do I see? This is the first time I'm in the bottle. That's your second well, time. Well, stand by on second that. Time. It's your second. No, it's his. It's his first time. He's not been in yet. No, yeah. You went in to get. You went no. in to get the book by yourself. Oh yes. No, we we, um, we stayed no. in the bottle on the on the boat. No, but he wasn't in on the boat. He wasn't. Oh, on the boat. oh, that's right. Okay. It's full of plump cushions, drapes, um, very nice, comfy, low tables, and a big chest. silk everywhere. A big chest in the middle, and this is little place currently. In the middle of the floor, it's like a little arena for a tortoise. So is there like a giant multi-person hookah pipe in there? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say there yeah. is. Yeah. Um, how long does polymorph last? An hour. Yeah. This is gonna be so fucking good. Uh, all right. So keyed, everybody zips into the bottle, and you have them safely in your pouch, and. You get you're a couple of blocks away, and and for sure they're maybe not quite as bad as as Keystone cops, but uh, definitely the city guard. Um, they're all playing yakety sax on the way in. <laughs> kind of uh, you know r- rushing past you, <laughs> and uh, are, are are you are, are you okay? Is, there, is everything okay? Is every, sh- everything's fine? And they they just run past back to where you had been. Um. But you are are headed safely away from them, uh, apparently drawing no no suspicion. Mm-hmm. And in the distance, you hear one go, "Oh my God, they're covered in shit!" <laughs> <laughs> I am going to pick up my speed just a little bit to get away from there. Um, uh, I, I guess I'm to going tell. to head up. Uh, up. Oh wow, that is so blurry. Oh, there we go. 
Um, shit, where am I? Well, so you uh, know that uh, that the the, the town are. that has been mentioned is to the south. So yeah. um, you yeah, can head uh, you the can head... river gate. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and head towards uh, the high road, and um, yeah, head head towards the south exit of the city. Okay, toward the south gate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, we'll we'll do this instead and put you there. Yeah, you uh, you make your way uh, hey, un unaccosted um, from the trades ward through the southern ward and out the south gate and onto the high road. And um, you are now en route to uh, to Greenfest. The uh, the travel time there is it's about a day's travel. Uh, so at some point we'll have to figure out: Do you want to stop for the night and sleep by yourself while they're all in the bottle? The bottle only lasts for eight hours, right? Eight hours, yeah. Um. Before you have to decide what you do with that key, we're going to say that we're at 59 minutes on the tortoise inside. And uh, we're going to see what happens when when things change. So you guys are comfortably in the bottle. You you hear noises around um, uh, from outside the bottle, but it, it appears as though Keed is taking you out of the city. The noises become less and less. Uh, there's never any angry voices, it seems like. Um, so you feel like, you feel like things are going okay. Um, and then we're, we're just on the cusp of one hour, which Carolus, I think you would know. So. Oh, he knows exactly you wanna... as he's putting a bit of less lettuce in, knowing that there's about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he doesn't. That, he do just, you want to pre prepare everyone or are you just going to let it happen? No, obviously, I think everyone would know. He used to sit in there waiting, rubbing his hands. I could drop it any moment, but. It just lets it last the hour, so we get a good way out. Yeah. But so you, uh, you're, you're <clears> feeding it. You're feeding it a bit of lettuce, and and tortoise feral is not sure why, but he's like, oh, these are pretty fucking good. He's just <laughs> happily munching away, and then the polymorph ends, and suddenly you all see regular feral laying on the ground, and Carolus stuffing lettuce into his mouth. Oh yeah. Welcome to my abode. I he, he, would like to cast Modify Memory on him right now. Ooh. Wow. Tell. Uh, so DC 17 Wisdom. Okay. And what I would like to do is I would like to take the memory out of what just occurred of him being in the shop and everyone being pissy and whatnot. And I want to turn that into a wonderful, pleasant experience. And him actually asking us to turn him into a turtle because he's never been one. And you know what? Who gets the chance to be a turtle and go into an awesome place like this all the time? So spin it to where we're his friends, not his enemies, basically. Modify oh, memory is a horrific spell when you think about it. That's <laughs> terrifying. And I'll cast it at fifth level. Yeah. <laughs> DC 17. DC so 17. Even with all my modifiers, I can only get to... Oh, wait. Does that count as a charm? Modify memory a charm? Uh, on a failed save, the target does become charmed by the duration. Darn it! It's not me into it. I have no, but I have advantage. Yeah. Uh, so with my, my first one all in was only a, was a 16. Uh, my second one was a 15. <laughs> Woo! God damn it. Okay, how long does modified memory last? Or is it permanent? It's permanent. That oh. memory of the event is what I have now described. If he talks to his guards and they tell him whatever really happened, he's going to be like, nah, that's not, nah, these guys are my friends. Why are you guys even being mean to them? They're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Spell is just horrific. I don't know why I don't eat more lettuce. That was that was lovely. Uh, have you have have you all done this? Uh, it's, 
I might. On occasion. Yes. I might have this. I have this done every uh, every couple of weeks, just as a as a little treat to me. That's a, uh, gosh. That is. Does he know your? He doesn't know your names, does he? Or did you kind of implant that? He doesn't know our names. We haven't properly introduced ourselves yet, but he does know he loves us at this point. I, I, it's just, uh, I, I am, I'm so not this kind of impulsive. I, you know, I, I, I get up, I do my job every day, and, uh, and I, I thank you for, uh, <laughs> for being fed off screen, Bertram. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, you're welcome. I, what did you it's, do? I, I am sorry. You are, uh, and he's I, pointing to you, Carolus. You I, are. Uh, I am the half genie, Carolus Vex. I, Carolus, I, I, forgive me. I, I sometimes, I think sometimes this hat makes things not go into my, into my mind. Right. Um. Uh, uh, yes. That, that that was lovely. And is this your, is this your apartment? This is. This is my house. Yes, or my apartment. Uh, friends, I thank you so much. I, I don't know what I have done to deserve this. Oh, you're welcome. I like him. Yeah, and we like you too, Farrell. Yep. He doesn't yes, seem like do. that bad of a guy. <laughs> he's just sitting there so, looking pretty nice. He's just, yeah, well, he's like taking it all in, like looking at the pillows and the silks and uh, like no. kind of looking back at where he was as the turtle and remembering that, like how the sand felt on his 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 feet and stuff. I could so Farrell, I for you. Sorry, go on. So, yes, sorry, Farrell. My name is Aaron, and I would love to know more about what you do. We met you at the leather shop. Oh well, yeah, it was uh, I. Uh... I work for for Lord Yellowcrest, and I I, I go around uh, every every couple of weeks to his businesses and and and, and pick up the, the the profits and make sure that make sure the shops are being run correctly. And you know, sometimes you have to be stern with them, but uh, generally they're they're pretty good people. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's did did I finish that? And he kind of like feels in his jacket, and he 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 has some gold, but. Did I hit, did I get everybody? This doesn't seem like the amount it normally is. Well, you know, everybody was complaining they hadn't had the same amount of business because of some random thing going on in town. And oh, we God, Waterdeep is the worst about that. It's a shithole. Yeah, so yeah. we yeah, invited you to is. come with it's us a big instead. Shithole. And he catches a, a bit of a Is it someone shit? No, I tread in it earlier. Oh, oh, damn, what a deep. Uh, so. Cost Key, do you, you were, boots. You were, <laughs> and, and they, they clean up just fine. Keed, you're just happily, uh, like, not as happily, nervously kind of moving through. And again, you're not, you're not stopped. You're not questioned. Some folks say hello and. Some kids kind of look at you like the, the kids who obviously have never seen a centaur, and their parents are like, "That's not polite." It's, you know, come on, come over here. Uh, but it, it's honestly very tense but pleasant, uh, leaving town and, and getting out onto the road. I will go at a steady pace. Um, once I leave the city, um, and once it looks like I leave the wall around mm -hmm. the city i will pick it up to a tr uh, a steady trot um just to you know give myself a little bit more space for sure yeah and and every few minutes you you kind of take a look back and there's no one seemingly no one following you no no horses no carts no gangs of of guards uh following after you um occasionally you pass a, a merchant on the on the road, who's heading into to Waterdeep with some wares. But uh, it's pretty much smooth sailing. Better than the sailing trip getting here. Oh, yay. Um, uh, now, then I will uh, slow back down to a walk and uh, 
leisurely get myself to towards where I go. Uh, okay. Once it comes night, depending on where we are, I'll either camp or rent a, a room for the night wherever I'm at. Okay. Um, so everyone, the four of you that are in the bottle, roll a perception check. Perception, you say. Perception. Not great. Uh, 24. 10. Uh, I'm going to give this both to Careless and Alexander. Um, it, you realize as well as things are going in, in the bottle and the fact that you, you just hear kind of, uh, you know, some, some bird sounds and very peaceful noises outside. Uh, none of you have been in communication with Keed uh, to let her know what is happening. So you don't have to do anything with that. I'm just saying the two of you realize that. Uh, but you don't have to do anything with that. Um, Feral is having a, a wonderful time with all of you and listening to your stories and your exploits, even though Surely he knows some of them must be blown out of proportion. I wonder if um, a message would work. A message in a bottle? Oh, please. Oh. Release me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to spend how many times you rub me? Uh. It's technically on a... So message wouldn't work. Send, I think, would have a chance of working, a 95% chance, because you're in a different plane. Hmm. So does anyone have sending? Mm -hmm. I just want to double check of what my thing says. It just says drawn into the vessel. It doesn't say I have another plane. Well, but it's a demi plane though. Yeah. It's, a, it's a pocket universe. I do have sending. It's not prepared for today though. <clears throat> Thanks, Cesar. <laughs> I'm sorry, we were about to get into a fight. <laughs> Have we actually talked to uh, this dude and confirmed? Has he confirmed that he is in green, green yes. staff, green, green, green fast, green fast? No, that's the word. He has said he's working for what's his face. Yes, uh, true. And if you ask him, he will tell you absolutely that 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 he lives in in green fast. So. Why Why has he been in hiding all this time? Uh, well, as you know, the, the business five years ago, he just, he, just, everything here brought him sadness. And so he just kind of went out to the country to try to be anonymous. But uh, I mean, you can't be a businessman and be anonymous. So he, um, you know, he just keeps a low profile. He doesn't, doesn't ever want to come back here and have everyone tell him how sad things are and I suppose maybe that's why I put on the the face that I put on here is to not have to hear the sadness about my employer either has he taken off his hat since we've been talking to him um he hasn't no but I don't know that he it's not sunny so I guess he could I'm just gonna casually suggest, like, what, like, we're 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 gonna be in here a while. Why don't you take the hat off and and put it oh, aside? Oh, my, uh, really, my hair was, must be a mess after after the, the the whole morning and everything. And and but he will he will actually take it off and and kind of like muse his hair a little bit. It's a little bit All of right. a mess, but it's not too bad. There's um, nothing weird about the about the hat. You can I insight to... him? Is, can I insight to see if he is, like, if there's anything weird about the hat or, like, why he would not want to take it off? Sure. Okay. Sure. Roll, this roll is probably nothing, but I just got a weird, a weird vibe. It's only a six. Uh, yeah, it just, it seems like he likes the hat. Okay. Uh, you could ask him to, to if you want to look at it and, and investigate it. Well, I have no way of being able to tell if it's magical or anything like that. It's true. I mean, I suppose I could ask him. Is the hat special? It's quite, it's quite a... Very nice. It's, I mean, it is a very nice hat. It's quite conspicuous also. Well, I, say. Yes. I always want them to know that I'm coming so they'll get the books in order and get the money out. Sadly, that doesn't ever seem to 
really push things along, but, uh, you know, just elevate my, my status and my, uh, my position a little bit. All right. Just curious. Do you see, uh, do you see your employer a lot? Because we're looking for work. Uh, I mean, I, I, I deliver the, the funds to him. So, uh, every, every couple of weeks I, I see him uh, occasionally it's more, but he, he's kind of reclusive. He, uh, he is, is set up a, a little, a little tower outside of town, uh, really more of a ruins that he's, uh, trying to turn into a bit of a, a vacation home and. So he's he's always off doing things there. Uh, outside what town? What water deep? No, outside of Greenfest. Oh, Greenfest. Oh, okay. Hmm. And he's gonna look at Caesar like, is is he thick? I wasn't listening. I <laughs> saw your hat and got distracted. Oh, oh, would well, you look, try it on? Yeah, it's, please. Uh, it's, ve- it. it's velvet. I'll put it on. Uh, yeah, it, it's. It's a little bit sweaty inside, but uh, it's it's a nice velvet hat. And certainly not something that Careless would wear long term. It's very nice, thank you. It it looks it looks good on you. Naturally. Um. But uh, but yeah, he uh, he's he's trying to build himself a little a little summer cottage. Um, for even when it's not summer, I guess I don't. I, I'm not super sure. Does he stay on his own? Has he, got, has he tried for a new family? Or uh, that I, I've never seen him with anyone, but we're not uh, not really friends like that. That that speak of of things like family. I, I know that he uh, he was he was absolutely absolutely crushed by losing his his former family, and uh, even so much as to have. Uh, his his wife and his children's remains brought brought to Greenfast so that he could always be near them. How did that happen, by the way? Tell me about the uh, the accident. You know, all we've heard are, are rumors, and you know how things get exaggerated and blown out of proportion. Well, I I don't think it was an accident. It was it was a grisly series of murders. Um, the cops in Waterdeep seem to never never be able to find anyone or charge anyone and the whole thing just kind of went away and I, I think that might be one reason that that uh, Lord Yellowcrest decided to leave was was lack of faith in the in the police of Waterdeep they normally are so well, maybe good and so he did it. Dun, dun, dun. I say, is I mean, it, isn't that it, isn't that unusual though right uh, it, it is but I mean ask Ask anyone. He was away on business and um, comes home and everyone's dead. The police search for a couple of weeks and don't turn anything up. And then they just tell him that it's over. That must be hard. Uh, It must. Uh, Keyed, everything is totally just like it was. I'm sorry that they have split the party on you. (laughs) No. (laughs) This is fine. This is totally fine. <laughs> I don't have to deal with the uh, the um, anti um, centauric conversation that Sar- Carolus usually brings up. I thought you were going to talk about Feral. <laughs> Wait, Feral, Carolus. <gasps> oh no! Now Carolus. Now Carolus has the hat. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, I, I just, um, uh, I, I wish that someone had been found and, and, and brought to justice over that grizzly, grizzly thing. Maybe it's not too late. Oh, well, we're, uh. You never know what kind of things can get stirred up when uh, you start poking around. And is that what you do? You poke around a bit? If we have to. 
Depends on uh, depends on the job. And are you on a job now? He still I mean, likes you, but but he, he's 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 getting a little bit guarded now that you're mentioning being on a job. No, we're freelancing right now. We don't have any type of job right now. We're just you know, actually like like we mentioned earlier, if if your employer is hiring some more people, we would we would love to apply. I what's the system? Do we do we just show up and go hey and like. I kind of like pull out like a dagger, and be like, "Hey, I I can do some things." Or what, what's the process? And I'll put the roll, dagger away. Roll a deception. Can I uh, support in there? Sure. Uh, we'll we'll say that 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 Carolus uh, gives you some like so you do the thing with the dagger, and he's acting along with you, and you guys are some sort of strange two man one dagger team. <laughs> so roll so roll your deception with advantage. Fifteens yeah. all around. Fifteens all around. Um uh well uh no, I I I you I don't know that anyone goes to him. I'm not sure how many people he speaks to even beyond me, but I could certainly get you uh get your information to him. Um and uh, and and see if, if if you mean to stir things up from five years ago, that that could be it could be sticky, um, either from whoever perpetrated it or from the law uh, the law enforcement of Waterdeep if they know that they have botched an investigation they they might make things quite uncomfortable for you. Uh, but it's not not my ass on the line. So, if uh, if you're interested, I will I will certainly let him know. Well, why don't we? Like I said, we're we're in between jobs right now. Why don't why don't we just come with you and show him our skills firsthand? Yeah. Huh. Well, yeah. I, I will. I will absolutely. Let you, you come with me to to green fast and i will uh i'll see if, if i can set a meeting with him and uh then you can show him your two man one dagger thing it's it's very it's very you, nice you just make it sound weird <laughs> it, it, did you yeah, see i it? don't like I don't like that terminology either. Mm-mm, we're not a two man one dagger I mean show. I'm going to lo- I'm going to look at, at Bertram and Cesar. It's it's, it's kind of weird, right? It, 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 yeah, very weird. It, they practice it no together problem. all night. What they do is they go to their own corner of the tent and they got both of their hands on the one dagger and then they play with it together. It's a weird t- weird thing they do, but if they want to do it for money, who am I to say? You know, I, 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 I'm not one to judge. Um, That's a I, damn I, dirty I, lie. I, I wear a big ass <laughs> red hat, so I'm I'm not in, in the judgment. Uh, well, yes, yeah, so shall we, shall we go? Um, we can uh, we can pick up a, a, a carriage since there are several of us. Um, which hey, he's looking around, like trying to suss out where the door is. Um, <laughs> how how do we? We're already on. Oh, I, hmm. I don't we're, even we're, know how to get out. So you're we're... not the only one. Are we your prisoners, careless, careless yes. Rex? No. No. <laughs> now, now he's looking back and forth between you. I mean, well, it depends on how careless is feeling that day, kind of. And why do you f- think I'm part of a two-man half dagger show right now? <laughs> we have a lot of free time in here. <laughs> and you're, you're friends with him. If I have to double down on this, I guess I am. <laughs> well, if you double down, you'd have more than half a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, but really, if 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 we if we go, we'll be there. We'll be there tomorrow, and uh, let's see if I can set a meeting for tomorrow afternoon. Sure. Uh, are we still moving, or have we stopped? Can you tell that inside the bottle? I mean, it's not like it's sloshing hear. around. You you can, can you can hear, hear things. Yeah. So let's say you can still hear the the steady, uh, 
the clip clop of of Keed's feet. Uh, it was it was kind of more rapid as you heard the city noises, and then as the noises got more and more sparse, it slowed down to a, a very calm walk. So we'll say that we'll say that at least Carolus, if not the rest of you, can can hear that and know that you're in motion. Oh, we can just keep keep going. I mean, I'm quite tired. I'm I can have a sleep. You can sleep in here if you like. Yeah. Well. Yeah, but it, it, I mean, How far I, is it? I like an I like a noon siesta as much as the next person, but. Uh, if yeah. we take a take a nap now, it means we're traveling at night mostly. It's nearly a day to get there. Very true. Okay, and I'll just click my fingers, and then we'll all just pop out onto the road. <laughs> but I'm I'm just <laughs> I pop out I pop out and I'm floating. I am Keen, like... so glad the very tip of the bottle is sticking out. Um, the uh, one of the pouches that the bottle is in, like because... a like a like a holiday can of peanuts that your uncle Fred would bring over that has a spring slinky snake inside of it. All of the party members and Feral pop out, face planted onto the dusty road, and um... I am going to start like like a horse would with plastic and i am going to jump and run to the side of the road away from what just happened uh okay yeah i'll give so we've her, all hit, we, a hand we, up like, we've right. all hit the dirt holy shit you're all right was you're all right was ease up was that a, was that a teleport was it, it was that a teleport yes it was teleport <laughs> As, mm. I have sense. never seen, never never seen someone that. just randomly waste uh, spell slots like that. Uh, oh, I, then you're, for you're you, my friend. Careless. Yeah. He would be wasting spell slots all day long. He's such a jokester. Wait till he banishes you to the plane of fire. It'd be great. It's a ton of fun. Plane what of fire. happened? Oh, hi. Th this is hey, our friend. Hey, do you this... remember Feral, our good friend who we're taking? To green fast. I am he, going he, to look he, directly he, he, at Cesar. He and... is, uh, Farrell is looking at you kind of with his head cocked. Have we met? I am looking at Cesar very strongly, trying to read what he's saying with his eyes. Yes, we've met briefly. I'm so sorry. I'm I am just rubbish with names. Uh, you are Heed, and I'll offer Heed. my hand to him. And he he will he will take it and and bow. He'll reach for his hat to tip it, and then realize that Carolus is still wearing it, and uh, and and still he will. He will do a, a, a bow to you. I, I apologies for not uh, remembering your name. Uh, how did you know that she would be here? How, how did you pinpoint teleport to her? I am very powerful. <laughs> well, then I guess you should keep that hat then. Uh, it's, you wear it better than I if you can do that. Ah, <sighs> well, um, are you, uh, shall we? Are you a major of sorts? Oh, no, and he draws and brandishes his rapier and does some some really cool looking flourishes with it, and then amateur back away. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I Feel think you two though, should you... make the uh, two t two man one rapier team. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to let you know that two man, one rapier is even worse than two men, one dagger. Think yep. about it yes, on your it own is. time. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you sound like a man who spent time in Icewind Dale, Cesar. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Cold Hug Witch. Um, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll say that we're, we're an hour or two down the road. Uh, we're kind of into early afternoon at this point. Um, 
Do you guys want to continue on to Greenfast and then we'll just mm -hmm. camp on the road? Yeah. Yes. Sounds good. Alrighty. Um, we're going to say you guys get to a spot that you want to camp in and we'll select watches and then we will put a pin in that for the night. So let's choose watches. There are now six of us. Uh, would we have had a short rest in the bottle, right? Sure. Yeah, within 10 minutes. Right. You get a short rest within 10 minutes inside okay. the bottle. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. You spent at least an hour, if not two, in there, and you get a short after 10 minutes. So, okay. Cool. Just wanted to make cool. sure for my inspirations. Yes. This is why it's so good. Um, would you guys, guys like to set the watches for the evening and then we will see what the resolution is next week? Sure. Yeah. Sure. I can take middle watch. I will okay. watch during the middle of the night as I can see everything. I'll okay, take... So, Keed and Careless on <laughs> watch two. This is brilliant. I will take first watch. Okay. I'll take last. Okay. Cesar? I'll I'll take first with uh Alexander. Then uh Farrell will take last watch with Bertram. Let me write oh, that down. Ber Ber will... Bertram, is that is that cool with you? Are you sure do you wanna to... I'll be just fine. Okay. Watch this. So Honestly, you're Alexander. you're the, not the one I have to worry about. Alexander and Cesar, and then we have Carolus. And Keed. <laughs> I can't wait for that one. And then it's we have a rough Bertram time for someone. And Feral. And that is where we're going to end our stream for tonight. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for, for sticking around and watching us.